Man, I got some of that uh, mineral water. It sucks if it's not carbonated. You hit the hay? Yeah. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Right, yeah, no problem. You're welcome. The door. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I will lock it though. Hey Stephanie, how you doing? Hang on a second, I'll put this thing up here. Let's kick it. Hey, Drifter, how you doing? Let's kick it. I wore my special orange hat for you. What about this? Thing is, on my uh, profile. Hey, Drifter, how you doing? Ah, eh, slow. I was over there. I got, I got. I think I'm gonna have to hire somebody to help me. I'll never get it done. It takes forever. I would say it's going really slow. Just kicking it. I'm saying. Taking care of vultures, raptors. Uh, so I'd say uh, the answer your question uh, pretty slow. Hey, Christine, how you doing? How you feeling? Feeling better? Your luck improving. Did you just happen to be on or did you get a notice? Oh, good for you. Yeah, I had a rough spell there. Good. Well, that's cool. Drifter, did did you guys get a notice? No notification yet. Pisses me off. I don't know why. I think I upload too many long videos. I mean, really, it just is shit luck. Hey, Red Raider, how you doing? Oh, you got a notification. Oh, good. Oh, that's cool. Well, thanks. I wonder why some people...
doing something wrong. Hey, Steph. Hello. How you been? Oh, good. I just got home a little while ago from all that chaos you know about. Yeah. So, um, any new surprises? Uh, oh, yeah. But I, I don't, yeah, I don't want to air it. <laughs> okay, I got you. All right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and and don't you look cute in your orange hat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for you. Oh, thank you so much, okay, Tom. Okay. Yep, I saw um, uh, Bimbo is live, and oh. uh, she she's kind of mean. <laughs> yeah, rude to That's one reason why I don't go on. There. <laughs> yeah, she. She was mad at Chris for telling her about some static or something, a bad connection. And she was being sarcastic to Chris mm -hmm. about it. I mean, I don't know what the deal is. She's, I mean, she's mean to Mark, too. That Yeah. So much to help her. Get out of here, Benito, you weirdo. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Chris is a nice guy, and you know, if you've been around and you understand where he's coming from, he's got a legitimate reason for uh, right. Reason. So it's not like someone just being rude. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know it. And yeah, Mark was Mark was with her too. Yeah, Mark's Mark. a great guy, and she yeah, she's not very nice to him either. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, she she she's not very nice. I don't know. Yeah, she but, has the uh, gall to tell him his singing sucks. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't start. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Christine, you can come up if you want. Let's party. Uh, that was over on Bimbo's channel where I never go. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe he sent her diapers too small. Yeah. Who? Oh God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who the hell? And then I get a. I, I she does that shit, and I get accused of going to cha certain channels. What the hell? <laughs> I know. I mean, come on. Oh I my god. Through, you know, uh, Marty's wife got a couch delivered, so. I was waiting for the guy to show up and he did just a little while ago. So I was kind of like in between like doing things. Yeah. Why I was uh, waiting, you know, I'd already watched my YouTube today. I was scrolling around different channels, <laughs> realizing all the people I've blocked over the years. <laughs> yeah. They're on these different channels now. Oh, really? I don't give a shit. It's, oh, not, like God. It. it's not like I did it for no reason. Right, right. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's too bad. I feel bad for Chris. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. It. I, don't, I, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really get that, why she's not nice to him. Yeah, I know. I mean, just, I, think, I mean, but maybe. I, but, I, but I do understand how he could be aggravating accidentally. Right. But there's no reason for being mean to Mark. Yeah, I know. No, no reason for that at all. But I mean, yeah, Mark can't sing. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. Oh gosh. And, 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 and tells him that on a live chat in front of people. Really? Yeah. And I bet he doesn't say one word about no. her guitar playing or her singing. No, he never would, no way. Oh my God, that's the most god awful shit I've ever. It's not nice. It's not nice. Yeah, he's a he's a he tries, you know. He, you know, he's a basic. He's a good guy, Chris. I think. Yeah. And, and yeah. He's nice too. You know, they have their issues. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I don't think it's. Who cares? Well, I don't go over there, and she doesn't come over here very much, so that's fine with me. Yeah, I, I don't go over there anymore. 
since she tried to twist it around like what I was doing on those channels. Well, hell, she was in a, a diaper in a pacifier. What the hell is she talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Trying right. to twist it, you know. Right. Yep. Oh, my God. She's the one that posted those pictures. Yeah, weird. I know. Do you know this Bryant guy? No. Salute, yeah. salute. What's going on, Chosen One? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. I've been a big fan of your channel for a while, man. Um, I wanted to ask you a question real quick. That's cool. Yeah, go ahead. I was wondering how come, um, well, I'm not even sure if you do it anymore. I was wondering uh, if you do still uh, do the content where you uh, interview drug addicts, because I, I like that content a lot. Yeah, I did too. I'll tell you exactly what happened. A couple uh -huh. of things. Uh, one deal is I got too well known down there. You know, back in the day when I first started doing it, I would just slip in there, get some interviews and get out because I was just, just genuinely interested in talking to them. So after a while, it got kind of dangerous. That's one thing. Secondly, it, it had changed quite a bit. And thirdly, YouTube doesn't want you doing that kind of content anymore. Really? No, they don't want you talking about uh, drugs. They don't want you talking about even legal drugs. If I told you I had great success with Prozac, they don't want you talking about that. Now they don't even want you talking about sex. So it just kept, you know, whittling away at different things they did. But the and, and as if that isn't enough, I ended up moving out of Detroit. I'm down in Georgia now. Okay. So, so basically, you know, an unfavorable environment now. They don't want you I, doing that kind of crap. And if you'll notice other guys that do stuff like that, like soft white underbelly and those guys, they're trying to get revenue through subscriptions and donations, tips and all that kind of shit, which I've never done. I've never once said subscribe, join, any of that shit. Right. Now, I did for a while interview homeless people which prostitutes were part of. But I find, you know, honestly, I was wasn't into it that much. When I see homeless people now, I just give them the money and move on. I just find interviewing them super boring. Oh, so you're not into it anymore. Not really. I mean, I would do it if I had, you know, where I live now, I don't have that kind of opportunity. Right. And even if I did, if you upload them, man, hey, Dave, hey, Rita, hey, hey, Dolly. Even if you upload them, I mean, they're not... They unsubscribe people for me. They don't put out notices to most of my subscribers. I mean, you know, I was promoted by them for a while. <clears throat> and now I'm kind of on their shit list now. So I think oh, so they, they, they'll demonetize you for. Uh, well, you know, it got to the point where I just quit monetizing my videos because the way they set you up is you grade your own videos when you upload them. And there's like 30 questions. Is this potentially offensive? Does this uh, demean anybody? You know, so even on any interview with anybody in any capacity, if you tell the truth, nobody's going to know your videos are out there. And if you lie and they catch you, then they're going to give you a strike. So in most that's tied to monetization because they're sending digital ads up in the middle of your interviews. So I just found that it wasn't worth it after they'd basically given me the yellow dollar sign. I never thought I'd get a dime anyway. So I wasn't going to let them set me up like that for lunch money on right. checking the wrong box. And I just said, fuck it. So I just don't monetize any of them, do what I want anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I think it's unfortunate, man, because uh, I know you said you're not really into it anymore, but I know you got a lot of people who really liked it. You know, you, you got a lot of yeah, traction. It, well, you know, here's another thing, too, is YouTube doesn't need people like me anymore. You know, whoever knew, you know, 17 years ago would turn out to this kind of thing. So now, you know, if you're a businessman and you're dependent on digital advertising, would you rather have a guy coming on, you know, talking about the latest widget that he engineered or somebody asking how much blowjobs are going for in Detroit? <laughs> 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 Even though I don't agree with it, it's their social media platform and they are clear about what they want you doing and don't doing. So basically that was just kind of a twilight area where I got away with that shit. Same thing with when I used to do in all the abandoned buildings and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Man, that I'd, was good. I'd be in jail for that. Now I knew when I was doing that, that that was a limited finite time and that Detroit was rock bottom. And the reason that I did it 
It's because all the cops that had a pay cut, they took away their benefits and they weren't even enforcing the law. So even if they saw me in there, they weren't going to do anything. So I took full full advantage of it, but it's not that way anymore. So if you look at that time period when I got all those subscribers and they promoted me, that was like a lot of things, man, whether you're good at sports or in the media and that ship has sailed. It's just, um, you know, I still have fun on YouTube, but it's not like the, the old day, you know? Yeah. Now when I see you going live, you're just sitting in the car and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, no, that's kind of, well, you know, I would, if, if there was a place where I could go and I, I will do it, but you know, I kind of been in between things. It's moving down to Georgia, but right now, you know, I'm a world away from uh, how it was in Detroit. And even if I was there, they're not, if, if I upload videos like that, nobody knows about them. Hey, Frisky, uh, what goods it do? You know, right, but the main right. reason, it's all the reasons I just said, plus I'm not in an area where you can do those kind of things now. There's just no prostitutes around. I mean, I, and I had a lot of stalkers, man. I mean, man. You, just, you just you just type in chosen one. They're still out there fucking with me. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, That's crazy. Man. <laughs> I mean, you know, and you learn through YouTube. The, you know, there most of the time it's really good people like, you know, the people on here now in the chat that I got to know over the years. But a lot of time it's like wackos, weirdos. This isn't like normal life. This is like lonely, desperate, pissed off, ugly women. <laughs> they will go out of their way to make up shit. And, you know? That's no, it's so true. It's, it's bizarre. Yeah, it's really not. And they're all over the place because, you know, in the old days, if like you or me and we were someplace and we ran into these kooks, we wouldn't give them the time of day. You'd find out in the first 30 seconds they're nuts and you get away from them. Right. We're on YouTube. You know, they know they're weird. But when people are typing, it seems like it takes about 10 times longer to figure out they're nuts than it does if you met them in person. Mm-hmm. Oh, exactly. I've had them show up my house. At, I've had them show up at my house at two in the morning. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. These are fucking beasts, man. Oh, uh, yeah. These aren't like, you know, beauty queens. They're stalking, weirdo, hairy legged psychos. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so it's not what it looks like. You know, it's like all things, right? Until you get in there and experience it, it's mostly good, but there's, a, there's weird baggage that comes along with it. No, that's true. That's true. I got a platform myself and I've experienced that. And I didn't even know how to um how to handle it and how to describe it. Cause I'm like, how come the people hey, in the real world don't act like this? How come you don't see this everywhere else? You know what I mean? But you are right. The YouTube uh, is a space for for crazy people. Yeah, and part of it is is they'll come in, you know, they're not, you know, when you're meeting them in person, that's them. So they're gonna, you know, know you know what's up. But when you can, you know, make a new idea every day and come in, you can Go get some beauty queen's avatar, and even though you weigh four hundred and fifty pounds and have three eyes, you can make that as your avatar, and that's how they get their foot in the door. You know, you're talking to them; they've controlled themselves. They know what worked and what didn't work, and you know, six months later, you realize uh, they're psychos. Oh yeah, crazies, and it makes sense why no men are attracted to them. And there's, a lot of weird, there's a lot of weird guys too; just people who are strange, man. I mean, I, I mean, that's why I'm fine with the way it is now. And I don't really like get to, I met a lot of good people. And now, you know, <coughs> do you like black vultures? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I upload a lot of videos about birds. <laughs> and, and, and the truth of it is 99% of the videos I upload, nobody watches anyway. And it's always been like that. Always will be. It's that 1% of those viral videos from interviewing working girls that the only reason we're talking wasn't anything else so it wasn't anything i did it was their interesting interviews i know this there's you know you know you see channels that just put out great content a lot of work they got a real uh talent for mine's just i hit the on button and go with it and it was the people that i talked to that got the people interested not me asking questions anybody can do that so i'm well aware of you know it's kind of like a musical chairs it wasn't because I did anything like great. 
I mean, but that's what made it unique, though, is that you know, um, you you were the only one doing it, the only one I seen that was doing it, and you yeah, were doing well, it yeah, back like, then, well, too. you know, I was into photography, and I kind of got bored with that, and I would run into those girls when I would get coffee and stuff, and I thought one of these days I'm going to interview them, you know, and it was just really just a genuine interest in how you get here, how you can't get out, what the day to day life is of a working girl, and it was super interesting. I'll tell you another thing too. Is those people on those viral videos, I, I mean, if you gave me 30 years, even though I could go out and interview other prostitutes, I don't think that I could have those unique kind of personalities that made it fly back then. Yeah, yeah. I think you just, they, they had like a, they were interesting and it would, they just had like a gift of wanting people to know more about it. Yeah. And then I'd go back there and I'd check up on them and that kind of thing. And, and, I could try that. I know it's like a lot of things are like this, Super Bowl champions, whatever. You go back to try what you got lucky at once, and it's not the same. Yeah, so you kind of like struck gold when it was struck, happening. Struck gold, struck gold. YouTube decided to promote me, and that's when, when they when they didn't. It was kind of too late then, you know. It had already happened, but they don't need guys like me now. They can, they can uh, you know, they make just as much money on a knitting video or how to raise a fucking handicapped pet turtle right <laughs> but it's nothing that's offending anybody it's not glor see back in the day when i started the only thing you needed to worry about was glorifying illicit activity or glorifying drug use which i never did i just asked them you know what are you up to what's it cost how long have you been doing this i didn't glorify it it's just a question i mean if you can't ask questions about sex what drugs you're on and how much people you spend on them. What's the sense of the interview? Yeah, you know, that takes away from the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, the whole thing. So, I mean, I have constantly looked for other forums, but see, even like places like YouTube, there's a law there where they're not responsible for third party content, but they want to appeal to their digital advertisers. And I've looked for like YouTube was in the old days. And even though it's like a social media forum, Facebook, all these places, even though it's not TV. And it isn't like you can do what you want. You're still regulated by different kinds of rules that are similar to TV. You know, they can still get in YouTube's ass. And, you know, the funny thing about it is, is like you look at documentaries on television channels, like Addicted and that kind of stuff. Man, they would do the death penalty if I did some shit like that. So I, I can only think that it's because of just more revenue and they're just going to go vanilla on everything. You know? Yeah, I understand. I, I think, um, you know, I think what you did was great. And I think uh, it was unique in that you wasn't really trying to exploit the people. You were, you seemed like you were genuinely uh, interested and you cared and you, and you wanted to help them. You helped yeah. a lot of them, you know, they wanted out of the situation. Uh, well, at least they said they did. And, um, you know, uh, I think it was refreshing to see, you know what I mean? So it, it, it gave me a lot of uh, hope for humanity. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, well, I'm saying that's, that's you weren't trying thing. to get rich off of doing it. You wasn't. You were just doing it genuinely. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that, that's another thing too. Is I learned a lot. You know, when I went down there, it was just I always used to joke about I didn't want to be the older white guy with a mini Bible and a hot chocolate. I didn't. I wanted to go down there and figure out, you know, what are you doing? Why'd you get here? That kind of thing. But I realized after a couple of years. That they'll just, you know, I was naive going into it, which I'm glad I was, because if I'd have known what it was going to be like dealing with these people, I probably wouldn't have done it to begin with. I mean, my, yeah. dumb, my dumb ass actually thought that, you know, handing out ham sandwiches was getting somewhere. <laughs> 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 you know, like a child in a way. Yeah. I actually thought they were like going to get better maybe and just, you know, everybody else had pushed them to the curb and that. Somebody giving a fuck mattered, but it didn't. I got it stuck up my ass just like all their friends and family. That's the way yeah. it is in that life, man. It isn't like you're going to get one here and there that finds their way out of there, but it's like roulette wheel. Most of the time they're going to lie, manipulate, steal, fuck you any way they can. But I look back now on some of those deals. I'm lucky I probably didn't get murdered down there. Oh, you are lucky. 
uh, some of those videos, I know. And then, you know, all of us and your viewers, I mean, remember, you know, everyone donated to them and you would take them there. Uh, uh, I mean, your van would be packed full of boxes. Yeah. Remember, Tom? Yeah. And yeah. you would go and hand out all that stuff. And yeah. some of them... Um, act at some of them i know appreciated it but then other ones acted like i don't know like they were just using everyone you know yeah, what i mean i think that's just like the the nature of the beast i mean you know you yeah. guys a lot of you guys started out just like i did i mean it was just like instead of you asking the questions i was asking them right you know, down there and then you, the, the light bulb finally comes on but there's enough kooks down there in Detroit to where they get jealous of what they see as your success on a social media platform. Right. And really? It wouldn't have surprised me. And you know, I bet, I bet for 500 bucks, you could have, and you know, the police cops are constantly getting charged, sent to prison for 30 years. You know, the cops will pull you over, ask you what the fuck you're doing down there. I mean, it looks like a lot of these police brutality things. It makes it look like church. So you didn't have any support down there. And I was just thinking one of these days, man, they're just going to shoot me through the damn windshield. They'll find me slumped over in a seat and my dog will go to the pound and they'll yeah. spend 10 minutes trying to figure out who did it. And that's it. Yep. And I thought, fuck this. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. It's not like there are enough nut jobs that would, I mean, people have been killed down there for lower bragging mites than me. <sighs> Oh, yeah, Detroit. Oh, my God, Tom. I know. What's, what's the name of your channel, Brian? Uh, my name, the name of my channel is Everybody Hate Facts. Everybody Hate Facts. Everybody Hates Facts? Everybody Hates Facts, yeah. Um, oh. F-A-X <clears throat> instead of uh, F-A-C. And what, what are you doing out there? Honestly, I just uh, just, just talk shit to people, man. Um, there's a lot of people on there, you know, on the internet that just talk shit. I'm yeah. into battle rap, like uh, I watch a lot of battle rap, so I have like a lot of people who subscribe to my channel. We just talk about battle rap. We talk about you know random things, kind of like what we're doing right now. You know, we're just, oh, just cool. shooting the shit, shooting the shit. Okay. So battle rap is that like something unique to just like different than what we're doing now? You know, well, just battle rap is just like um, it's it's really uh just it's rapping, but competitively. Oh, um, yeah, that's cool. Just trying to uh, embarrass each other <laughs> with words, oh, lyrically. Okay. <laughs> lyrically. Hey, I'll tell you where rap. you can see some excellent rap. I ran into these guys in an abandoned building one time, a long time ago, and they're, they're out of Detroit. It's called K Free, K F R E E. Mm -hmm. But there, man, that he's got like it's a black skin, black light skin guy that's like kind of a cool guy that's really into like techno shit. And he has been able to market himself to all these, like, you know, everybody in Detroit thinks they're a rapper. But he's kind of been able to tap into that shit and, like, make videos. But check it out, K-Free. I'm telling you, man, if you go if you go on K-Free and you, if you like rap and you listen to a bunch of it, there's mm -hmm. 50 guys on there better than Eminem. But you know this already. Oh, right. That's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. But, you know, you got to get the same shit with me. You got to get lucky. You got to get promoted. You got to be in the right place at the right time. But there are guys on there. That blow away. Like, do you know who MF Doom was? Yeah, I've heard yeah, of him. Guys like that, man. It's like another guy that should have been super famous. So it's just been K free. It's like, I feel bad, man. But these guys, you know, just can't connect the dots through all the reasons most people can't. But there's some killer talent on there. Yeah, Doom should have been way bigger than he was. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. Underground rap for what? I mean, why was it underground? You know, he died, you know. Yeah, he's Who died? Great. MF Doom. Check out yeah, his rap. rap sometime. It, it, great. Good guy. I liked all those guys, man. All the good rappers are dead. I mean, the, the shitty ones live on. Like yeah, that's, that's yeah. crazy how it works like that. <laughs> so <laughs> weird, isn't it? Like Biggie, Tupac, all those guys. Then we still got that damn Will Smith running around. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we got that. Yeah, and look, we got that P Diddy going around too. Oh man, that's nasty. Oh, yeah, he, 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 man. Got on, he got on the wrong side of the feds. Yep. But you know how this is, Brian. You sometimes, I mean, let's talk about this. Like sometimes, like, are you into sports and all? Yeah. You know, like Chris Weber. 
Yeah. He was a black guy from Detroit that went to a private school in a rich area. And even in college, he was trying to get some street cred, which killed all his marketing opportunities. You know, he's a good looking guy and blew it all because he was wanting to be one of the cool guys. Yeah. He just basically took his career up. Hey, you got to give Will Smith credit for that. Although I will tell you, I like summertime, but back then it was different. But you, you get guys that you got to play along. I still can't figure out how this damn uh, Eminem, man. I think he sucks. I was just getting into an argument with somebody about that the other day. Like, it's so he's so overrated to me. Oh, my God, man. You know, the, the sickening part is when you, you'll see them at a concert, and there's like a thousand – white people swaying to it like they know what's going on. <laughs> I, mean, I put it on the same level as black actors going to a Taylor Swift concert. You know. <laughs> That's they funny as shit. They must just take a handful of qualudes or something, drop kick them in the ass. And the door. <laughs> oh God! You know, when you're about ready to pass out, just clap. Oh God, yeah. We, you, you can tell we don't, we don't care much for Taylor Swift or out here. <laughs> but if you were, if you were going to look for a, you know, racism shit, you know that stuff's out there, right, Brian? If you were going to want a high-profile guy, you were going to really put it to. They picked a good one with old P. Diddy. They left that trap open for 25 years before they shut it. No, oh, seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I think um, I think they could have pulled the trigger anytime they wanted to. It's oh, not yeah. convenient. Exactly. Look, yeah. Look, they did the same thing with Art Kelly. You know, he, he they left that trap open for you. are wondering why he's getting out all this shit. And then you're, you're thinking he's just got good lawyers. And that ran out. And P. Diddy, I guarantee you, man, he's not going to see the day of light when they're done with him. Oh yeah, now, and you know what? You know what else is? You know what else is going to happen is other names are going to start popping up now, associated with him. Yep. Oh and yeah, they'll be taking him to that damn uh, uh, who's that perverted Jew that had all those young girls in there. <laughs> Uh, FC Nyland. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, when he, when you he goes to the same, yeah, he goes Epstein. When he goes to the same prison he was at, he better oh, God, do whatever Tom. he can get the hell out of that man. <laughs> hey, you guys remember uh Bat you guys remember Batman, right? Remember the, the villain from Batman, uh yeah. the Riddler? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Look look at this. This is the Diddler. <laughs> That's exactly right. It's true. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, Weinstein, too. That was another thing. You know, oh, you know, yeah. And, and, and I'll tell you, there is an argument, though. Really, you know this, too, Brian. There is an argument between how, look at the Kennedys, the stuff they did. Look at what Epstein got away with for years. I mean, it's it's treated differently. It's true. No, that's facts. That's facts. Yeah, it's just this. Now, Weinstein... I'm not, I'm still, you know, they, they got him too, but I just think it just got so egregious that they couldn't, couldn't hide it anymore. I, I don't know. You know, it's weird. You would think even that mob, you know, you, you look at the mafia now, at least in Detroit, and I'm assuming other places, all their kids now are neurosurgeons and attorneys and airline pilots. They, they dropped, they saw where it was going. It's not dry cleaners anymore. And, you know, coming up to the same way dad did. All their kids are educated. And some of these people, you know, just don't get that. And they just keep trying to carry on this tradition and it just doesn't work anymore. Weird. I don't get yeah. it. So do you do you do you uh do you do live chats quite a bit then, right? Yeah, I use StreamYard uh, every time. Oh, okay, good. Now is that working? Yeah, I don't have any videos, I just go live. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't blame you, yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's uh, YouTube's been a lot of fun though, and StreamYard's a good time too. You know, I never promote anything. Like, I'm not the kind of guy to like say we're going to have a StreamYard Saturday at ten because I might not want to do it at nine. You know, so I just when I feel like doing it, I come on. When I don't, I just cancel it. But I still have a lot of fun doing it. I mean, if I had, as long as I could like do this, I'm I'm fine with it. I mean, they're not going to hold any me hostage with subscribers and that stuff. Oh, yeah. 
Fuck them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I wish somebody, you know, there, and I know this, and you probably do too. There's YouTube and nobody else. Those other, mm. types, other like video things are shit. First of all, the search engines are terrible. Secondly, I, I tried one of them, you know, when I got pissed at YouTube. Let me, they gave me a strike. They gave me one about three months ago for uploading medical books written by professionals as uh, providing false medical information. They gave me That's another crazy. one about seven weeks ago for showing how to get a mouse out of a sticky trap. You know, those glue traps. What I the got, hell? Yeah, I got a strike. So that there's, was, yeah. There's been was three crazy. times where I've had two strikes for bullshit and the third one and you're done. And I thought for sure that, you know, if, if, if this is, if, I have 20,000 videos uploaded. So if you're going to nail me with two strikes for that kind of bullshit, you, it's not going to be easy at all. I mean, you had to find number three, like the minute you turn it on and it never right. happens. So I don't know whether it's just bots that are instructed to just keep this guy on his toes with two. Don't give him three. Cause you know, they run digital advertising, even when you don't monetize videos so they can be making money, but you won't. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even know it was that bad. Yeah. Damn. It is. It is that bad. But you know, if I was them, I'd probably be doing the same thing. I mean, the whole, the name of the game is making money and they're experts at it. I mean, the, if, if you, if you, went to my videos and you told me you were going to start billing me to have 20,000 videos uploaded. I bet it would be like, uh, 6,800 a month or seven grand a month. And that would be cheap. So, you know, they're already killing it through Google and YouTube's just the cherry on the top. It's all that extra money, even though your infrastructure is all set up. So why have people coming on there, pissing people off with asking what blowjobs are going for in Detroit? Just stick to double layer cakes out of skin a banana. Yeah, yeah, I watch those. They don't even want they don't even want in impact shots on hunting videos anymore. Yeah, you know, there are guys that had some big channels, hunting videos, deer hunting, all this shit. I'm not a hunter, but after all, it is legal. And now they don't want the impact shot. I mean, wow. I think in another six months, they don't even want to see a hook in a fucking fish's mouth. Jeez. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Yeah. It's just turned into China, man. <laughs> no, it's true. North Korea. Well, yeah. They, um, you know, if somebody gives you a super chat, don't they take 30%, Tom, YouTube? Yeah, I used to get those super. Yeah, they take 30%. Yeah. Get those super chats, you know, when we'd be doing like chats, uh, talking about the girls, that kind of thing. Yeah. Hey, another thing I didn't mention too, Brian, is out of all those girls I interviewed, probably... 20% of them are dead, which, yeah. you know, look, man, I, it's not like I'm crying at night, missing them, but it does make you feel bad. Yeah. When you went into it, just trying to get the truth, and hoping the best for them. It isn't like one got hit by a car accidentally, which can happen to whether you're in that business or not. And it just got where it was like, you know, two, three, four a year. And it's like, fuck this, man. This just is not fun anymore. Yeah. That yeah, lifestyle, though, you know that, and, 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 and it doesn't stop there because what happens is you get someone that is in that predicament, and then the cops don't do anything. So you're getting like pissed off for all sorts of shit, unrelated to their death. You're mad that the cops don't want to do anything. You're mad at the double standard of no newscasts about them once they find out they're a prostitute. You're just so you know you get enough of those put together. And you just say, yeah, fuck it. I'll go. No, I can it. see that wearing on you. I could definitely see that. Yeah, but it wasn't something like that. I was like consciously, you know, thinking, oh, man, it's really, it didn't bother me like that. It wasn't like it kept me up at night, but it was just the difference between feeling good about something and naive and realizing that, man, you better wake up because this is how it is. And it just kind yeah. of, the, you know, it's like, there's all sorts of shit like that. Being married, a job you don't like. And before you know it, you just say, fuck it. Yeah, this just sucks. <laughs> just sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, you know, I used to do it for fun. And now, and it's like, oh, man, I don't know about this, you know. And you see people like, I mean, it's no secret. Maddie, the blonde girl from Detroit, who's a sweetheart. Yeah. And I know that any day now, it's going to be bad news. And there's nothing you can do about it. But, I mean, <clears throat> 
it doesn't keep me up at night, but it's just. You made her a star, man. You made her and her boyfriend a star. Well, I mean, I don't really. I mean, what I say to people is they were there before I got there and they're there after I left. That's a funny thing about YouTube because, you know, before I started doing that, you could go down to that neighborhood and they were getting shot with pellet guns and water balloons, being treated shitty and kicked out of places when they went to at a McDonald's. They were banned from everywhere that they lived. And now all of a sudden a third party me interviews and puts it up and people have an interest. But if you look yeah. at how it's morphed into like some of these other people, uh, they're cruel to like Maddie. You get a lot of the attention they get, and it isn't like people trying to help. It's people that want to talk about her looks, yeah, how much she's fallen since she first came on. And it's just a bunch of psycho, crazy haters that tune in to see her demise. Right, right. Yeah, that's, the mass, that's the majority, too. Right? Yeah, no, it's the majority, and it's like, cunts, and then they're criticizing the people that you know, people, people would set me up all the time. It's like, I'd break it off in their ass. They said, it's like, well, how would you feel if the $10 you gave them led to their death? I wouldn't give a fuck. No, I'd sleep like a fucking baby. You know why? Because I didn't give them $10 to kill themselves. I mean, if you had a nephews and nieces and you bought one, a fucking little a tricycle for Christmas and they got run over on it, would you never buy a tricycle again for another kid? I mean, the logic these fucking clowns use is flawed. Yeah, it's dumb as shit. Yeah, dumb shit. And even though you're a drug addicted prostitute, yeah, they might have bought dope with it sometimes. But I also saw them buy food and pay their cell phone bill and cigarettes and all sorts of other shit. I mean, ten dollars. It wasn't like I gave them ten grand. Oh, I know. But when you're not liked and somebody doesn't like you, they will be on your ass full time. Yeah, they're looking for something. Swap. A lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people get on this get on this internet and get on a YouTube just to try to make themselves feel better by shitting on other people. Oh, yeah, I've had them call, like, you know, restaurants I've gone and got swatted, call neighbors and say that, like, any day I'm going to be charged with uh, kitty porn and that yeah. you know, they don't know what's taking so long. Yeah, real fuckers, man. I know. You've had a lot of stalkers, Tom. Yeah. And even, even, even if they don't really think you're like that, they think about it. And, you know, in this crazy ass day. You know, there's one percent of them wondering if any there's any truth to this, even though they you haven't exhibited that in any way. But it, but they can cause you problems. You go into a restaurant where they were always like friendly before they walk right fucking by you, and it's because some motherfucking crazy down there said, you know, I'm on parole from fucking shooting a waitress thirty years ago. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, and, they, and people, and then then if you get a nut on the other end that's just like them, they'll run with this shit. It's like you see that guy over there. He shot a waitress 30 years ago. Oh, God. Yeah, they're just nuts. Yeah. Yeah, getting run off the road. Yeah. yeah. Man, I thought it was bad in the battle rap section of YouTube. I, I, it's crazy how you're experiencing the same exact thing that we experienced on the other side. Yeah, well, you, like, you look at all this stupid shit these rappers got killed over. East Coast versus West Coast. I mean, it's like water balloon fights. <laughs> <laughs> Only ends up with, you know, they get guns. It's stupid. It isn't like <laughs> people in Detroit get killed for the stupidest shit. I mean, unbelievable. Like, oh, I know. 47, some, uh, like a 1973 Caprice, and you kill somebody to steal this thing because you need to go see your girlfriend. I mean, so the bar is really low on violence there. And I just thought, man, finally the light bulb came out, and I thought, I better get the fuck out of here before I catch one between the eyes. Oh, yes, God, I know. We've had a lot of uh, road rage shootings around here, Tom. It, it's just, uh, I, I, I'm i afraid to even drive again. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and a lot oh. of those road rage shootings, you know, they'll be mad at somebody driving too slow. Uh, yeah, and that's me. <laughs> I get my ass shot at. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. But like Mary says, like, yeah, you, you just don't really you don't really know who you're talking to a lot of the times on YouTube. Oh, you don't know at all, Tom. Yeah. That's why, you know, uh, you know, when you meet people, uh, you, you've got to be very careful. Yeah, what you say. Yeah, what, oh, you man. Know, you'll, have, you'll, you'll have like women, they'll put up a nice avatar and, the, you know, everything oh, you yeah. is wonderful and. 
Hopefully yep. you can hook up. And here it is, some 400-pound trucker jacking off into a Dixie cup. Hey, Lucy, how you doing? Yeah, that. but that's a typical example, man. It's oh, like, uh, oh, yeah, I know, Tom. No, I know. Yeah, no way. That's hilarious. Hey, salute to you, both of you guys. I'm going to jump back down to the chat, man. Um, I'm a big supporter, man. Uh, you guys keep okay. doing your thing, man. All right, good talking to you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You, you guys be safe, man. Yep, thanks a lot. Yeah, bye bye, honey. Yeah, so uh, he's a nice guy. Oh God. Once in a while, you'll get somebody that you know been around a while, but they never came on before, so that's cool. Yeah. 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 Yep. Oh gosh. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Rita, how you doing? Hey, Brian, how's it going? It's hard to like uh, see this sometimes. Oh, no, I can't. Good. Oh, Brian's link. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. Yeah, there's that guy's link if you want to join his uh, thing. Oh, okay. I know, how, I know how much you like rap, Stephanie. Uh, <laughs> don't even start with me. Yeah, at least he's like normal. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah and you never but, know. Yeah. Like, when you got new people coming on, I mean, I had my hand on the button just in case it was some damn porn bomber yeah i know tom i know <laughs> i know you never know on here jeez and you guys have probably like you know there's a lot of horror stories on youtube oh but, yeah you know, hey larry how you doing it's just like uh you'll see uh it's happened with all that stuff even like uh craigslist which is crazy now too i mean craigslist used to be great Facebook, oh yeah they, they, like don't meet people anywhere now in a oh city. i know some cities have like a, a lot designated like at the police department where you meet to like do your facebook marketplace thing so you don't get slain it's nuts man oh god i know i bought um i bought a few uh things off marketplace but i always just meet them at you know a a store or something like that you know you know i'll uh, tell you that marketplace too if they, they'll they have people out there that'll go around and try and identify your political aspirations and they'll they'll kick you off a of facebook marketplace oh really oh yeah i know like 10 people that's happened to Really? Yes. Yep. You better believe it. So if I said Trump for president, yeah. you're, you're going to, you know, put a, put a put a Trump hat on your head and have that as your avatar on your Facebook. <clears throat> that won't be on there in 24 hours. Probably not. Yeah. No. It wouldn't. Probably not. But it's interesting how some of these companies have, like, you know, taken their own political interests and, like, you know, I mean, you can. Easily understand that with Facebook and and uh, Google and uh, all these places, YouTube, that they can definitely do some influencing with their editing. Right, right. You know, if they want to, you know, and you think what's at stake in the old days, the government would have broke up places like Facebook and Google for being too big. Right. For those same reasons. There was a time when they wouldn't let, they broke up uh, radio stations, couldn't be owned by newspapers. Neither could telephone stations. They broke those up. They broke up the car companies. And in the last 30 years, it's just like uh, they're looking the other way. Weird, getting powerful. Oh. oh, I know. They can, I mean, they're monitoring everything. Like, for example, um, uh, the kids can uh, call me from their tablet on the kids' uh, messenger. Yeah. And one time the girl sent me a video and they go, you're a poopy butt. And I, you know, we, we were, you know, we were all laughing. Well, the next day it was gone. Yeah, there you go. That's it. They, they took yeah. it off because the kid said poopy butt. No, that's it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I do notice on YouTube. I do notice on YouTube that, uh, you get away on a chat a lot more than you do on a video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Which, you know, I don't know why that is, because you would think that, you know, on, like on my stuff, I mean, I can see the writing on the wall. If I upload a goldfish in a bowl, I still put nobody under 18 because I'm not taking any chances with these crazies. You know, oh, some, I know. 
they'll probably be getting me one day for mentioning the color of the vultures that I feed. They're black. Yeah. It's going. Yeah. There. I know. Like, why don't I oh. just refer to those as birds? I know, Christine, Trump has tennis shoes. Um, uh, he, Yeah, he made tennis shoes. They are like four or $500. I told my sister, we got to buy them and wear it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, did you really? See, Frisky got a, uh, she got a warning for mentioning Target's recent grooming merchandise. What does that mean exactly? Huh. Yeah, but but they got this on. It's in the you know this artificial intelligence is uh, really ramping up. It's going to get a lot worse. You know, I think they're writing. Uh, I think they're writing whole books with this artificial intelligence now. I really do. I just find yeah. some of the mistakes in some of these books. It's just, uh, they, 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 yeah, they can't, it's they can't they, make they, do everything, uh, but it's pretty damn good. Oh, I know. They uh, they monitor everything we do. You know, I'll Google something, and then um, I'll be watching YouTube, and a commercial will come up for what I Googled. I mean, I mean, it's crazy, you know? Oh, I know. I can tell you how that works. See, that's how they made all their money. What they do is uh, they, they have your IP address and your MAC address, so they don't – they know who you are, but that doesn't matter. So what they do is they take all this data from all these people and then uh -huh. they strip the identifying information and they sell the data to companies that want to advertise or the companies come to them and, you, and YouTube does their advertising. So take for an example, like if, you know, you were looking at <laughs> jumbo, <laughs> dild jumbo dildos for sale. Oh, God. You no, know, and you were searching around Google and you were trying to find the best price. Tomorrow yeah. when you get up and turn on your computer, you're going to see ads for Jumbo Diddles. Oh, my God. Now, they don't know who you are. But right. they know that MAC address and that IP address was a person looking at Jumbo Diddles. Right. It happens with yeah. everything. I mean, you can just go in there tonight and, like, look at the fish tank kits. Right. I know. Market, you're going to get ads for fish. It's just the way it oh, works. Oh, I know. The money's at, you know. Oh, thank you, Larry. Yeah. I yeah, know. That's where the money's at. It's yeah. freaking nuts. And I don't, oh, see, so she said they had little girl's clothes showing the hips and shoulders and stomach. Clothes are cut. Oh, really? Oh, Target. See, I didn't know about any of this stuff. Oh, gay kids' clothes. So is that like you can do it or you can't do it? Uh, you don't know what the fuck to believe. I don't even know between right and wrong anymore. So you can, can you like talk about gay kids' clothes or not? I don't know. Do you know, Stephanie? Uh, what was that, Tom? She, there, She's mentioning something about like gay kids' clothes. And I'm not really sure what Frisky means about like Target. She said she got a warning from someplace. I, I I mean I'm in the dark about this. I don't I don't know anything about it. Well, no, yeah. A lot of the uh little girls' clothing, I know what um Lucid was talking about yeah they're they they they're making adult clothing for little girls I mean with cut out oh. parts and uh, oh. I know uh, when I shop for the girls I can't believe some of the stuff that is on the racks it's like who, you know who would buy this for their little girl um, yeah really huh uh huh but you know if you look at this and you go back like twenty years. I mean, I thought it was like super weird, like with John Benet Ramsey. Oh yeah, and it just gave you like a creeper feeling. These kids and like makeup, and there, and there. If you go on YouTube now, there's like these young girls from Kazakhstan and places yeah. in Russia and shit that are like fucking ten that do this like fantastic dancing. Mm -hmm. Young, they can jump ten feet in the air. They're limber. And they, they got them, like, marketed, like, uh, you know, adults. Yeah. It, you know, we were just, yeah, we were, Susie and I were just talking about that. The girls now, they're just growing up way too fast. And uh, I think it's, yeah, all this um, social media stuff that people let them watch. Um, and you look you look back in the old day. I was thinking today driving for some crazy reason. Like, 
can you imagine like trying to be Mr. Rogers nowadays? No. Oh my God. They would give him like a million years in prison just for a typical show. Oh, I know. There wasn't any like, you know, that I knew of any, he was just a guy that like read books to kids. It doesn't make you a pervert. I know. I know. They but don't but have you, any but of you that fast forward to like nowadays and you go back and you think of Mr. Rogers, you think, what a strange fucker. No yeah. girls around. <laughs> You're fucking <laughs> got like toys and shit laying all over. What's going on here? I know. I, I think the media has done that to me. Yeah. I'm suspicious of everything. Oh, I know. Because That's what I know. I mean, we had we used to watch uh, uh, Captain Kangaroo and J.P. Yeah, Patches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, you know, every every morning, um, you know, they don't have any kid shows like that. When when Sarah was little, little, they had Barney. She loved Barney. You know, I don't know if they still have that damn purple dinosaur, but. Oh my God, she watched Barney all the time, but uh, they don't really have any kid shows like yeah, that. Mr. Green Jeans, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Green Jeans, yep. Look at this guy uh, came on. He sexually identifies as a cheeseburger. <laughs> Why not? Oh God. Well, then you'll get a better deal on things that we do. That's the way it's going. Yeah. But you know now it's like it's like I am. It's like you you look back on those old shows, and it's like yeah. you don't think anything about it. You know. Oh, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chris, you better not be talking about static over here. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any static going on, Chris? Chris <laughs> going up there. Yeah. I got a couple questions for you, Chris. Chris, uh, Chris is probably used to this. Hey, uh, Chris. What's up, Hi, Chris. What are you doing over there talking about static on Bimbo's channel? Well, because it was static. I mean, I, I had a hard time hearing it. I just, you know. She just, chew your ass? No, she just said you don't have to repeat yourself over and over again. That's all. Uh, she was mean to you, uh, Chris. You're being nice. Well, she's she's she, she, she's she's always like that with me. So I just kind of well, I kind of just brush it off a little. So, yeah, so, well, I don't, I don't take it personal, I don't let it get to me, so it's fine. Yeah, Chris has got his strong point too. I'd have told her to get fucked. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I, I can't, I can't, do, I, I can't do that because Mark is friends with her, and I can't, I, I don't want, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, maybe that's would, the uh, to her success just bring on people that you can insult and they never say anything back. Yeah. You know, I would have told her to change your diaper. Yeah. <laughs> we miss you. We, we miss you, Tom. Where have you been hiding? No, nah, well, I'm you know, like, trying to get this out. I realized today that I think I'm going to have to hire somebody to help me. I'll never live in that house. I just, hire, I just, yeah, yeah, I just want... hate this stuff so bad. I mean, like, you know, some people don't like going to the dentist. This is like 10 times worse. I just hate like unpacking stuff. I hate like, organized and stuff you know if i if it was just like a normal person without all these books i'd be in there by now you know you got a few clothes and shoes eight pairs of shoes or some shit but it's like just stacks and stacks of books i gotta like clean off and put on the i'll, I'll like it when i'm up there what was all there. that stuff what was all that stuff on that trailer you were on was that all your stuff or was it from you know you had all that stuff on that trailer oh sort a couple of weeks ago Yes, you were sorting through it. Yeah, that was a trailer I uh, bought out of uh, a state sale. Oh, a lot of old stuff I saw in there. Yeah, which I normally don't do, but it was kind of like an odd situation, you know. So what do you think about that bridge collapse? Yeah, sad. You know, you know the thing that makes me feel the worst about that is those oh, yeah. like immigrants that were up there doing like the yeah, shittiest exactly. job in the world, patching holes and 2 o'clock yeah, in the no morning. Shit. Yeah. And they all, yeah. died. they all died. Yeah, I know. Yeah. To come here to have a better life and have to, and wow, what a way to go. I yeah. know. Yes. You know, but can you imagine if that would have been during rush hour? Oh my God, it would have been way 10 times worse than what it is. What I can't Maybe. figure out though. Well, I mean, I understand okay. that. I understand the engines and you can't steer the fucking thing. But, you know, I mean, what kind of like big shit, like that'd be like a train, like 
when the brakes go out, you, what do you do? Just wait till it runs into 20 school buses. I mean, wouldn't it seem like there'd be some mechanism? Yeah, I know. Tom. Only, I couldn't knots. believe that. They said the speed was only eight knots. I mean, so. Yeah, right something now. happened. Uh, something was going on. Uh, I, mean, I mean, and did the horn break too? It was I don't know. And for all I know, the horn was on the second they lost steering. You just don't know, but it just strikes me as odd that that can still occur. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It just, it just thank God it didn't happen during rush hour. It would have been way ten times. Yeah, they said the cops had ninety seconds to like stop the traffic. Yeah, that's not very much time. <laughs> yeah. Is uh, that thing empty or full? I don't know. Large. I don't know if that part matters, but it was yeah, one of those kind you see in YouTube videos, you know, where it's rough weather going somewhere. It had toxic, toxic chemicals on that barge. Oh, it did. Oh yeah. Big time. They're going to mean, one surprise. It didn't explode. Honestly, must've been going then leaving. Yeah, it was leaving. It was leaving the port. Yeah. Where are they going to dump them off out in the middle of the ocean somewhere? No, they were going to another country. Yeah. With toxic stuff. Well, yeah, I don't know what country. Probably going down to bury it in fucking Africa or something where they wouldn't get caught. <laughs> have just, you ever been over? Have you ever been on that bridge before? I, I think I, did, I was on that bridge one time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bridges, uh, that give you the old creeper. Yeah, well, somebody wasn't paying attention or something, Tom. <laughs> And that's going to take years and years to rebuild. That's not something that's going to just happen. Over no, I don't, I, I, fucking, you know, big. They're saying it's just going to. They're saying it's going to be a, even. Just going to take even a month just to remove the wreckage. A month it could take even longer than that just to remove everything. So how, how far do you have to drive around to get on the other side now? I wonder if somebody fell asleep. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> no, they said both engines quit. Oh wow! Well then, there you go. Then that's what you know. And if they're only going eight mi eight eight knots an hour eight miles an hour knots. Yeah, but that's fast in the water well yeah but you figure with that with, with the amount of stuff that they were carrying on, on that on there yeah. there's no way to stop that you can't stop no. that at that yeah the like, bridge stopped it <laughs> well yeah i mean yeah oh god <laughs> but i'm just saying luck thank god it didn't happen during rush hour it would have been way 10 times worse can you imagine mm -hmm. how many cars oh my god i can't even think about it no, oh, yeah, I know it's sad. And you know those guys. They said that the guys were under under the, they were still in the vehicle underneath the wreckage, underwater. The divers had to go underneath there and get them. You mean the dead guys? Yeah, they were still in the in the vehicle when they dived down there. So the whole bridge came collapsing down on them. Oh wow! Good night, Rita. I don't so, know yeah. where Tribbles is at. Hang on one second. I get some. No, I feel super super bad for them all. Well, being there at that exact time, I mean, you know, that's just uh, fate. I mean, your number's up. You know, it's like I don't know. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, that happened in Minneapolis. Remember that bridge collapse? Didn't get hit by anything. And that also happened in Louisiana. Remember that? He hit that thing in the Amtrak train went in the water? Uh, I don't. Yeah. I, don't I can remember. Yes. Hey, Blue, how you doing? Yeah, it's just, uh, it's too bad. So the guys were still in the car, huh? Huh. Not that it matters. I know it, 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 it's, yeah, you know, it's like you're wondering, you know, you, you have to be there at that exact moment. Um, you just never know. No, no, I, I have this discussion sometimes with people that are religious. Uh-huh. And they think, some think that when it's your time, it's your time. And others uh, think it's a choice that you chose to drive across the bridge at the same time up ship crashed into it. What, what do you think on that? Do you, do you believe when it's your time, it's your time? Oh, yeah. I mean, who can predict? How can you choose? Yeah, you chose to go to that spot at that exact moment, but you didn't know what was going to happen. 
Right. You know, that's like me walking out the door uh, and uh, get hit by a flying bullet right now. I mean, you know, it's just uh, uh, fate. I mean, you know, what else can it be? Yeah, but um, I think it's just, I don't think it's like that. I don't think like it's, I, I, to me personally, I look at like risk factors. Like, I don't mind skydiving. I don't mind flying an airplane, but I'm not going to ride a motorcycle. Right. And there's a big difference to me in the risk. Flying an airplane safe if you do it right. Skydiving's relatively safe if you do it right. Riding a fucking motorcycle is not safe. Right. People text in crazy. I mean, the data is there. Just go to any hospital anywhere. Right. Oh, I know. I don't do it. So if I thought when my time's up, mine time's up, I'd be riding a motorcycle. But I don't. I know that the way I look at things and risk analysis is going to maybe make me live longer because of what I choose to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The risk factor. You, yeah. If, you, if you're doing something risky, yeah. of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But I don't but I think uh, if I believe that, you know, when it's my time, it's my time, I would ride a motorcycle. But I don't believe that. I believe that I have a say in whether I'm going to die or not. Based oh, on well, yeah, you have. Yeah, you have a say in some things that, you know, uh, you know, about risky things. But I mean, if you drove your car and a tree fell on it and killed you, I mean. You know, that's not a risk factor, you know. Yeah, I do. Christine, it's just yeah. something that happened. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, you but know do how. You think, do you think it's God's calling if their God called them to a greater, better place? Well, you know, after the events, Tom, in my personal life, yeah. you know what's going on. And I prayed so hard and it happened. So um, I'm getting more and more. Hmm, maybe there is something. Maybe there is something going on. <laughs> but how about this, though? I mean, in fairness to your argument, how about the times you prayed for things that didn't happen? Now what? Yeah, you know, this I, is the, I had to think. I had to think about if I prayed about things that didn't happen. You had I, to. I had to have. Yeah, I can't. I can't think of well, any you know, right you know, now. It's like you talk to people. It's like, well, uh, you know, have a safe trip. All of a sudden, you get smashed <laughs> flat in a fucking pancake <laughs> by a semi, and they say, "Well, God called them to a better place." Well, wait a second. You just prayed that I was going to have a safe. Which is it? Oh yeah, I know, Tom. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's another one I don't get. People say drive safe. It's like, what do you think I'm going to do? Just like, you know, drink like, why are you mentioning this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's just a way to end a conversation yeah. getting out of the car. Because when yeah. I get out of the Uber, I say drive safe. <laughs> yeah. oh, <laughs> I say that to the driver. So, um yeah. Yeah. I think it's just, just like, you know, down three <laughs> shots, snort some fucking cocaine, you know, hit a blunt and squeal his tires. It's like, well, I guess. He <laughs> oh, God, I know. I had one Uber driver, this young guy. He, Oh, my God, he drove so fast. And we did squeal around the corner. And I was like, oh, dear God, I didn't say drive safe. <laughs> Well, Dave, Dave's, a, Dave's an example. No, Dave was just in a deal here. You know, he's climbing in these caves and stuff all the time. Dave, you ever watch any of his video stuff? Dave, no. Yeah, fun finding for two years. He's in that cave, going in caves and looking around. But he was in one here uh, a month or so ago where the thing, uh, after they got out of it, it, was about half the size it was when they went in it. Now, what are the chances of that? That here a cave's been there for like, a, you know, who knows how long? You go right. down there, you fuck around, you got your flashlight, and you're swinging off your ropes, and you decide right. to leave, and you get out, and you see the thing, like, shrink to half its size because it's collapsing right after you get out. Oh, my God. Now, that would be a pretty good example of you, you kind of make you think a little different than what we're discussing. 
Right. Well, cave dwelling is a risk. Yeah, but I mean, but, but you know, it is, but. Yeah. I bet he'll never see that again in his life. Yeah, it collapsed 10 seconds after he was on. So what do you attribute that to, Dave? I mean, shit luck. Uh, I mean, if you'd have got a, two more red lights on the way there, you'd be dead. Right. So, wow. I, mean, I, I, I just, you know, do you, do you make sense of this all or not? You know? Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, well yeah, there's... There's some things that there really is no answer to either. I mean, yeah, you know, it's, mm -hmm. I mean, you can uh, debate shit, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, debate it. And, mm -hmm. and that's about it because there's no real true answer to some of these things that happen. Yeah, and I always, I, and, I, and I, I wonder about this too, is going to like a cemetery, like, and just sitting there. Uh-huh. You know, it just seems like a tremendous waste of time to me. <laughs> well, yeah, that's for that's. Uh, I mean, when you go to a cemetery, do you ever do it? No, uh, my family's cremated. So, no, I, I've never, never had to go see anyone at a cemetery. Oh, no, okay. no, I never did. Yeah. I never yeah. even went to my parents' uh, grave thing. I, I mean, even if I got along with them great, which I didn't. Uh huh. I don't think it would have done it. It's just like, it doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, you hear people, they'll, they'll go out there and spend the whole day, take a lawn chair, bring a lunch, and just mm. sit, like, cry, and then eat another sandwich. It <laughs> <laughs> seems crazy to me. Well, I, I think. Don't, I don't really get spread in the ashes either. I think early in, in a loved one's death, um, you know, because it does take time for for that feeling to go away so i bet the cemeteries i bet as time goes on people go less and less tom yeah what do you think that is uh you just uh learn to you know live with that they're gone but I, in the beginning you know when it's hard i guess people want need a place to go um you know to bar. yeah how about to a bar? I know. I know. No, Lucid brings up something about a psychic sleuth. I think they're all fucking whack, too. Mm, me, too. Yeah. I think they're a little nutty. I think a lot nutty. There's Fortune no tellers, tarot cards. Oh, uh, yeah. Ouija boards. Yeah. But then I got in a discussion with somebody the other day about they said that they're, and these, these are people that I respect. Until they told me that they they saw ghosts in houses, and I thought to myself, "What a fucking nut!" But I didn't say anything. I looked at them and said, "Oh, okay, yeah, all right." And I thought to myself, "What a fucking kook!" Do you think this is possible, Stephanie? Well, I don't. I I I just I had one experience. To, I didn't. I ever tell you about that? No. I I didn't see a ghost, but. I had one thing happen to me, Tom, and I swear there's no explanation for it. Um, you know, my mother died, and I was very close to her. Um, and I went to bed one night. I can't tell you how many days after she passed that this happened to me. But I went to bed, and I'm laying in bed trying to go to sleep, and all of a sudden, I smell my mother's cologne in my room, Tom. My mother always wore the same cologne. It was called John II. It was by Revlon. And I know I wasn't asleep, and I know I wasn't dreaming, and I smelled it. And I sat up and just looked around, and I don't know, it maybe lasted... I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, and it was gone. And then I tried to tell my sister about it, and she just, oh, you were dreaming. You, you weren't awake. And, you know, so, you know, as the years have gone on, then you start to think in your mind, well, was I asleep? Was I dreaming? Um, 
That'd be, that's that, what I, if I was betting, that's what I'd say it was. I know. And but, I have this happen. I have this happen a couple of times in the last couple of weeks where, and the only reason, the only reason that I catch it is because of a, the, I can see a clock. And if it wasn't for the clock, I'd have thought what you thought a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. But I realized by looking at the clock that I must have been fucking sleeping. Yeah. But, and but, if it wasn't for the clock, I'd have thought this too. I know. And, you know, the, the other thing that happened when this was going on, I was laying there and I smelled it. And, Tom, I got the most comforting feeling. No, of course you would. Yeah, I mean, because you believed it was true. Yeah, so I don't know. To this day, I I swear I was not sleeping, but I've had so many people tell me I was crazy and it was a dream and all that shit. But you know what? That happened, and uh, that's the only thing in my life that's ever happened when it comes to, like, you know, someone passing away or, you know what I mean? Yeah, you were not a uh, cocaine binge. Nope, I was not, and I wasn't drunk because my mother, she's only been dead for eight years. Oh, okay. And um, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, stop yeah. it. No, no, I'm laughing at something else. You know, uh, I wasn't laughing at that. I know. Uh, but I, you know how the autocorrect, you know, right. sometimes, and sometimes they're like, you couldn't make this shit up. Christine is right in one. Did you see, catch us? It said my dad was a baker third generation. And yeah. when he died, his urine was made up. His what? His, his urine was made out of his baker. Oh, his urine. Wow. I know. <laughs> and then she came back and said, urn. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I know, Tom. That's like um, sometimes instead of texting, I'll talk in the phone. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> yeah, that, that's getting right up there with Mary's shit. She sends me some. I laugh my damn ass off. You couldn't have a comedy writer come up with more funnier shit. Oh God! Stuff. I know. And then you talk in your message, and then you send it, and you look at it, and you go, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids, they laugh at me. They just say, quit talking in your phone. <laughs> oh, I get, you know, Mary, Mary always comes back with, you know, she's pretty even keeled. She always comes back. With, I always imagine myself typing what she typed to me. And she uh -huh. always comes back, laugh out loud. I get fucking pissed when it's some stupid shit. That I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I get pissed, man. It's like, this sounds so stupid. I, I'm so pissed. I don't even want to correct it. I just I to call them up and say, hey, I didn't mean that. You know, I never typed that shit. <laughs> Yeah. But you think with all the you think of all this like artificial intelligence, this shit is so way off sometimes. Yeah, you I know. know. Like you think it would just like you know not do it or it'd come up blank and you'd have to say it again. Not that crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know one time I was gonna send my sister a message, right? So I I pushed the um the little microphone to talk in the phone. Well, then I got distracted and the, it typed what the TV was saying. <laughs> and I picked up my phone and it was still going. It was still <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it's, it's yeah, typing yeah. what the TV yeah, was yeah. saying. Somebody, oh says, my. Yeah, somebody sends you a text, my mother just died unexpectedly, and it types back. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you were typing. That's sad. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I know. Oh, shit, man. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. So, you know, Lucid says that 
to me, spirituality is a person's belief and experience. But, okay, that's cool. And if that's the way you think. That's fine. But do you think that gets you anywhere? In other words, when you think that way, is there a heaven and hell to you, like a bad place and a good place to go? Because when people, at least if you're a Jew or a Buddhist, and you're, and I know what you're talking about, but like Oprah is famous for this, spirituality, and, and it really could mean anything. So what does it mean to you, Lucid? <clears throat> Do you like, uh, does this like, is this good and bad? I mean, you're right. You can believe whatever you want. But we know this for sure. Someone is full of shit in their religion. They all can't be right. Well, don't you think it's, uh, you know, something people can believe in because they're afraid to die? Yeah, I think that's part of it. Because if you, you know, can't, if you, I'll tell you this, I mean, probably the last 25 years of my life have gotten more and more, it keeps getting worse and worse about reading science. Uh huh. And I'm almost to the point now where I don't believe any of that because of my reading in science. Oh, yeah. I can understand yeah, that. Yeah. You know, it's nothing to brag about, but I think when but I then read, you're I'm, just reading science. So maybe you science. should. I know, but it, maybe you should read the other. No, I didn't. Then... No, I went through a stage. Oh. Man. I mean, I got a lot of that. I've read all those things before. Yeah. Dead scrolls, all sorts of books about Jesus, the thing. And it just, and it isn't that I don't believe in it. It's just, I don't like embrace it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't yeah. believe in like virgin births as an example. But in order for the story to work, it had to be something like that. And Jesus had to die. But if you look at all we know about births and, you know, humans and procreation and all the species, how many virgin births do you know of? It's not like asexual reproduction, like in certain cells and parasites and reptiles. These are human beings having virgin births. I mean, it just sounds nuts. Oh, and if you, if you yeah. look at the date, you know, the Christians think like the earth's like 7,000 years old. It's like, no. <coughs> and, and it's just so many th walking on water, turning water into wine. It's just one crazy story after another. Sacrificing, killing this for that, Adam and Eve, Noah's Ark. It's just the more I got into science and looked, particularly with dating, it's just one uh -huh. it's not true. If you believe in that, good good for you. I'm just not like gonna go oh yeah go show up every <laughs> Sunday and like you know act like I believe this. I mean, shouldn't that be like a prerequisite for attending a Christian church? Is like you think this way? I mean, why are you going if you don't? And I just meet so many people that's like, well, when it's my time, you know. And if you run there are explanations for lots of these things scientifically. Uh -huh. People live longer now than they ever had not because of religion, because of science. Right. No? Yeah, it's, I, I still, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of on the edge, too. I, I don't know really what I believe. Um, yeah. I, well, I, and, and, I do believe, you know, I do believe, you know, because I am a good person. And if there is something after death, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to go where the bad people are. So, I, I mean, I believe in that. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. Tom. It's too heavy for me. But it's like, you know, more questions than that. But it's, it is faith-based, too. I mean, if it was all proven and laid out, what would be the sense of believing? So it is yeah. faith-based. Either you decide to believe this and cherish it and accept it, or you don't. You know? But yeah. for example, like, according to Christian scripture, if you're a Buddhist or a Jew, you're going to hell. For not believing in Jesus Christ. End of story. Mm. There are lots of good Buddhist people out there. Lots of good Jews. Right. Is that fair? Does that seem like possible? Yeah. No. Yeah. It, it just don't, you know, it just goes on and on. You never really 
get like a, uh, I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm sure the believers, the Christians, the real hundred percenters, they just feel like, you know, sorry, you don't think this way. And they feel like a million bucks. I mean, I'm jealous of them in that sense that you could be that sure and confident that this is the way it is. It'd be great. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, just like pray and like whatever happens, happens. It's not your decision. It's his treating the body as God's temple and on and on and on. Yeah. Be nice. Hmm. Yeah. And maybe too, a lot of it, you know, they've, they've identified behavioral genes for people that believe like, you know, some people are, it doesn't change. You could be a great drummer, pianist, uh, athlete, same way with believing. There's just some people very good at believing and articulating it. And that's really them, you know? Well, yeah. And you know, some people believe in reincarnation too. Yeah. I mean, I wish that was true. I mean, some people believe that you die and you just live another life and you die and you come back as another life. I mean, some people believe that, too. Yeah. I wish it was true. But they, how about this? There's no evidence of it. No, there isn't. I know. You know, there might be there might be some oh you I've seen a few videos of people saying they're from the the future and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. I mean there's no proof of any, you know, anything yeah. like that. Because yeah. people, you know, I mean, of course, if it happened, you probably couldn't remember it. Yeah. Um, there's been people saying they remember they were this person you know, back in the 1800s or whatever, but there's no proof that they were, you know, they can't prove that. Yeah. Right. So hey, this though, I know this, that if you're not a Christian, you're not going to be elected to president. Oh, right. You noticed how this Nikki Haley and some of these people changed to Christianity. Yeah. It's right. they the focus groups. And it's like, you're not, you're not going to be the president of the United States as a Hindu. Or a Muslim, it's not happening. Give a fuck how good a person you are. It's just the way it oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and then you no. got guys like Trump. That I mean, it, you know, talk about <laughs> poor examples of Christianity. <laughs> had enough sense to know that. <laughs> You're not going to stand a chance. You know? Well, yeah. Well, people like Trump only stand a chance when they're running with by somebody like Biden. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think these near death experience experiences are all like. Uh, well, oh you know, yeah, you, you, have, you think of similar things with deprivation of oxygen. Right, I've wondered about those. And I, haven't you had some crazy ass like dreams in your life? Um, you know, yeah. if, if you if it wasn't a dream and it was a car wreck instead, and you thought that same shit, it's like crazy that this would be in your mind, <laughs> right? You know, oh people, yeah, I know. You know, people that hallucinate or have strokes or that in comas, and some of the shit they come up with, right? Look at yeah. the drug, look at the drug the what drugs have done to song proliferation over the years, famous songs. Pink Floyd, yeah. those guys. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's get Chris. See if he's fine. Chris, are you you a religious guy and all? No, not really. My friend just left, but yeah, you know, honestly, when you first when I first came on earlier and you asked me, she she's been like that to me. That's not the first time, and even Debbie has spoken up about it many times about it. And even Mark doesn't like that sometimes the way she's on there mm -hmm. and how she speaks sometimes. So this isn't the first time. <laughs> So, but if you're not mad, I mean, why should we be mad? Right. Yeah. Exactly. But you know, I'm, I'm used to it, though. You know, so. But uh, I got to ask you this, though. I mean, with this in mind and what we're talking about, what makes you go on there just to get a daily verbal beating? No, I just go on there because I talk because it's with Mark. I, I consider Mark more and more and more my friend in Venmo. Honestly, I mean, I don't really I don't hang out with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She doesn't really do nothing for me. You didn't I, send her two small of diapers, did you? No. <laughs> All right, just checking. Huh. Yeah, I just, it just, yeah. uh, you know, because, huh. you know, I mean, you, I mean, everybody has their positives yeah. and their negatives. 
Debbie yelled at her one time. <laughs> no, that's because Debbie cares for you, and she didn't think it was justified, which I agree exactly. with. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. know. Well, hard to get I think about bimbo going through cancer and things. I'm like, well, maybe she's just very testy. Maybe the medication makes her so aggravated. And her life right now maybe gets her aggravated. No, she gets aggravated when I interrupt a lot and yeah. repeat myself. And that can be annoying at times. I know I mean, I've had problems with you on your channel at times before. But yeah, you but you've gotten that. a lot better. Yeah. Yes, you have. The problem is it's hard. You know, it's like, like I said, like you two are having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's nice that you two can talk or me and Tom can have one-on-one. -on -one. But when you get other people on the channel, everybody's talking and then, and it, you know, I mean, everybody wants to get in what they want to say, but you, you don't, you don't want to always be interrupting. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh no, I do. It, it's hard, especially on these panels. Yeah, um, I'm Chris. I'm kind of yeah. I'm kind of the same way. Something will pop in my mind, and I'll want to say it right away before I forget. So, um, yeah, it, it just takes practice, you know, to let you know everybody talk and stuff. Yeah. Um, no big deal. Yeah. No, and like Chris, you get like you know you once you get focused on something, like collecting movies or CDs yeah. or DVDs. I think you do it with conversations too. It's a distraction for you to have other people talking. I, I, I think I think part of that is because I always want to be the um, center center of attention. I think maybe that's what it is. That's yeah. right. Oh. Maybe. Okay, any? Chris, go ahead. Start talking, oh, honey. Well, start talking. You got our attention. <laughs> Do you think that you hear any static here? No, not at all. Okay, good. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, just, it's just, I, I don't know. I just, I guess that's just so against how I think people should treat, uh, People yeah. that come on your thing. I mean, there's a lot of places you could go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You go, it's on, you go on Mark's uh, channel when he's playing songs and stuff, don't you? Once in a while. I don't mind. I mean, well, yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah. Mark doesn't have Mark doesn't have uh, people up very often, Tom. No, no, not at all. Oh, he doesn't? No. 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 He all. doesn't. How did you know that Bim was being mean to you? Were you watching her channel? I was, yes. Oh, I don't, that's how. I don't, I don't type in there, but I was, I was listening, and I thought, man, what a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Mary, Mary says you're a better, you're a better listener now, which is true. Be careful, be careful. There, there might be somebody listening right now. I, I don't care. We're not talking about anything that did not happen, Chris. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I just hope Mark ain't watching right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mark likes you. Mark does. Right. I know, but I don't want him to hear what you just said. <laughs> that would really. Oh. Well, Mark's a nice guy. He'd never, even if he didn't like it, you'd never know about it from his oh. end. I like. Oh. Um, Yes, I do Chris, too. I'll send you fifty bucks if you go on to Bimbo's from now on. Just blow an air horn. <laughs> oh God! Do it all the time. I'll do it. <laughs> wait, you gotta now. Timing is everything. You gotta wait till she starts talking about her favorite song. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I, you know, I always wonder. I, I always wonder with her if, if, if she ever actually did went ahead and got the full surgery. No, she didn't. Oh, she didn't. No. Oh wow. No. I thought I assumed it. No. Her. Not at all. Nope. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't. That's you know that that whole thing's mucked up. Now it used to be it was like transsexual and then transgender. Now, I don't know what's what now. Before, like, it was a full-blown sex change to women that uh -huh. wore not transvestites. Oh, fuck, I don't care that much. So I don't really, like, re I used to know. But, like, now these trans are getting offended because they're being considered something else. I mean, it's just so complicated. Oh, I know. Now they they have so many names now. I, I can't keep on. Like, I, I think Bimbo would be considered 
transgender. Did you hear what's happening in New York lately now? Hard telling. People, they said that it's gone up 10%. People, women are walking down the street and getting punched, dead or punched in the face now in New York. And there's been so many cases of it now. For what reason? For no reason. You're just punching people right dead in, in the jaw when they're walking by. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Lucid, Lucid brings that brings that up. That is kind of true. I hate to admit. It's happening a lot. I've been hearing it on the news in New York. Yeah. It's really bad now. People are just walking up to people. And just yeah, them you know, hey, Women but this is important, team. Chris. Somebody this is important, it. Chris. Is this is important? This is true. I even mentioned this to Stephanie one time. I hate to admit this, but I'm going to do it anyway. In the truth and honesty segment, and that Bimbo does have some nice legs. Okay. Have you ever noticed that? She's tall, though. I'll call it. Yeah, but they don't look, the legs don't match the rest of it. They almost look like, yeah, like photoshopped. Uh -huh. No, I know they're not. I, yeah, see, Lucid noticed that. I mentioned, remember I mentioned it to you one time, Stephanie? Yeah. I mean, it just doesn't like jive with everything else. I mean, yeah, I, anybody know what's going on there? She's definitely tall. She's got to be at least six something. Yeah, I can tell you something that uh, really gets under her nerves. <laughs> don't, don't, Tom. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> I probably already, I probably already know. <laughs> yeah. Probably already know. I mean, she's nice to me when she's around, but I guarantee if she had an opportunity, she'd drop kick me right in the fucking ass out of twenty story building window. Oh yeah. yeah, she doesn't need to say it. I, you know what I mean. She'll come on. How you chosen one? How you doing? Well, yeah, well, yeah uh, she's no. not gonna like me now talking about her diaper and her pacifier. Yeah, but but hey, I mean, here's the thing: it's it's nothing that didn't happen. If you're wearing diapers, exactly, you're on I, pacifiers and pushing strollers. I saw it. I you know gotta, what you, the you, hell. Yeah, you gotta you gotta take it. Now, I had an undercover uh, Mark Kropka do an investigation for me and to try to get down to the bottom of this. Uh-huh. And he said that uh, she just is on a, a lot of websites. Well, that still doesn't – it's not in my business. But right. It's like anything. Like, you know, if I say, hey, your new apartment, how many square feet it is, you know this thing and you're curious. You don't have to answer it. Right. But, I know what and, you know, in this day and age, you know, if you'd asked me 10 years ago and I just saw someone bimbo's age – with a pacifier, a diaper, pushing a thing. I just said, what a fucking wacko. Where right. now it's like you get beat down enough by Facebook, Google, and fucking right. TV shows. You know, you're on pins and needles. You get a 30-day suspension for making a game <laughs> joke or something. You're so fucked now. You, even if you think it, you can't say it. Yeah. Oh, so God. now it's like you just shut the fuck up about it. But that doesn't yeah. keep you from like, like wondering, like, you know, let's put it this way. If, if you told me if you were 55 or whatever and you were into that shit, someone was beaten off to it on a sex site, that makes sense to me because you know all the soup to nuts bullshit people get turned on over. Right. If it's not that. I, I wonder even more. If it's not like sexual fetish shit, what's going on there? Sexual fetish shit makes sense. People are into crazy ass shit. But if that's not what it is, what are you doing? You, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. She what? said the same thing. To Who said it? No, she said the same thing to me that she she's on different websites. Oh, that was you that asked. Yeah. Yeah. Because I asked her in the chat, and then she just said, well, I'm on different websites. And then she tried to turn around and say, what are you doing on those websites? No, you weren't on the websites. No, I wasn't. Chris, could you, Chris, you're the perfect candidate to launch an investigation into this. And just, yeah. You know, I, I, I just don't, I just, you know, she said it's none of your fucking business. Okay, yeah, you're right, it's true. But it is on a public social media platform that isn't privatized. Right. So if you don't want to answer the question, that's fine. But I just I'm just kind of really curious. I was curious. Yeah, but I mean, you now Frisky says age role play. Yeah, it could be role play, but like I said, 
the the thing that's interesting to me is once you get out of this fetish shit, what's left? Yeah. I mean, the fetish shit seems normal compared to being into it for another reason, which is what I'm trying to get down to the bottom to. Am I missing out on something here? I mean, is there something other than a sexual yeah. gratification that makes you push baby strollers, suck on pacifiers, and wear diapers at 55 years old? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, mean, I know. What, what's left? Nothing. Yeah. Role playing. Oh, she thinks it's role playing. But what's what what's the role playing? Because isn't the baby supposed to be in the thing? <laughs> Who cares? Uh, yeah. I'm pushing it, and I mean, I just, I just wonder, is this some kind of like underground fetish? Yeah, but if it was truly a fetish, I don't think it'd be allowed on Facebook. Right. Although you never know. I mean, that's probably the wrong example. You know, they're, they're, this, this is all. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think it's great if you, if you want to do that, and you want to put that on your Facebook profile. You do. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. It's up to your fucking right. if you want to wear a diaper and shit like that. Yep. Right. You know, it's, you know look what Dave, Dave says, and, 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 and other people have mentioned this. A, a, uh, <laughs> he thinks it's a mental screws. <laughs> what? Board. Finally, somebody had enough fucking balls to call a spade a spade out of here. That bridge, that bridge is, weighs 9,000 tons. Chris. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Never mind. Right. I love you, Chris. <laughs> we're, we're talking about diapers, and Chris says, if, um, if we die, thousand. <laughs> No, you can't get more honesty. I guess Chris is trying to tuned out to the diaper kind of thing. Yeah, he's tuned out. Chris, we're finding out tonight you have extraordinary abilities. I don't see nothing. Adults wear diapers. I mean, you know, especially older people. No, but how about the pacifier? Pacifier. Oh, you mean the thing you put in your mouth? Yeah. Is it yeah. And, and dressing like a little girl. That ought to shut you the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's a tough one. Chris says, let's just get back to how much that bridge was. Oh, you just, gotta, you, just gotta, you, just gotta, you just got a new subscriber tonight, thanks to me. Who, who, who is that? My friend Taylor, Keith Carlson. Oh, do I know? Is that a guy or girl? Guy, yeah, a good friend of mine. Oh, tell him thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. He's hit rock bottom. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. Yeah, you're a drifter. You're right. And Rick, Rick's right about that, too. It's because really, you got to admit, uh, is Chris is unique and in a good way. Yes. Yeah, I think so, too. Well, you yep. think Debbie's put up with me for 20 years. Yeah, it's again. Uh, she deserves like some kind of massive award. <laughs> she's, been put, she's been putting up with this for how long? It's amazing she's not in an insane asylum. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my asylum. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh, you're just joking. Get the patience of Job. Yeah. A real female Jesus. Yeah. Oh God. Well, you, you, could, you could always come. You could always kidnap me and bring me down there by you and put me to work. I do. I, yeah. I wish you lived by here. I need help. I've realized today. I, I think I got like a mental problem with that. Like I'm a hard worker. People, people hey. come, I know, I know, I know. You, you would get I it done. Good work. You can ask Debbie. I'm a very hard worker. You get no, I know. I, I'm sure that anybody that comes down here, Marty and his wife included, and they and they come over to my place, and they look and they and they ask me if I need. They everybody wants to know if I need help, and I look them straight in the eye and say no, as if I don't need it, but I do. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, I remember asking you a while back if you needed help, and you told me no. Yeah, I just, I just, I think I hate this. I, now I can appreciate people that like never clean their oven, never clean their house, or oh, I know, oven. Tom, I know, I know why it's because they hate it so bad that no matter yeah. what embarrassment or how much help's going to be offered, they're not going to do it. And I'm kind of this way with moving in this new house. 
Yeah, I and know. I make excuses for. I did the same exact thing. It took me two years to get my shit out of Michigan. Yep. Well, and I, and I got all sorts of reasons for it. I go into like this autopilot of why I do it. Well, I, yeah. here, I like it down here. Well, it's too you hot. Procrastinate. You procrastinate a lot, maybe. No, not on most things. No. Oh, okay. And then I think, well, it's too snowy in the winter, too hot in the summer. Before you know it, the whole fucking year is taken up with this imaginary weather I've created. Yeah. <laughs> and like this thing too, it's like I say, I want to, well, I say I want to take my time. You know, I want to like do it right. And you got to, if you go in there, you'll just say to yourself, it's like, oh my gosh, something wrong with this fucking guy. It, it probably is. Because, you know, I know people that like move 4,000 miles and like looks like they've lived there 50 years and they've only been there a week. What they kind of work needs to be done though? Unpacked, books put on shelves. Like, oh, oh yeah, I can do all that. That's easy. I can do. Yeah, no, I bet you'd do it like a thousand times better than me. Hey, bro. Oh, yeah, and I probably would probably be in alphabetical order, too. No, yeah, I bet you're like, you know, whacked like that way. Yeah, that's how I have all my movies. Yeah, just like your like DVDs and all that. Yeah, I'm very, when it, I'm very clean. I'm very uh, particular about how I like things, you know, very much. He likes right. things organized. Organized, that's the yeah. word. So sometimes yeah. you know, I put the movies by director or by... <laughs> He'll switch it up every now and then, so you never know what you're gonna find. Now, do you iron your shirts and stuff? No, I, I no, I don't. I just put them on hangers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you put them on hangers. Do people even iron anymore? I didn't think people did that anymore. I use that. Use that wrinkle releaser. Yeah. You ever use that, Stephanie? Uh, you know, Tom, I don't have to iron anymore. When I worked, I had to iron my work shirts. Um, I still have an ironing board and an iron, but gosh, I haven't had to iron in a couple of years. You know, Marty's kind of like anal about that stuff. Uh-huh. You know, do you know what wrinkle releaser is, though? No. Yeah, it's this chemical you buy. It's like nine bucks a bottle and you squirt it on a whatever that's wrinkled. And the wrinkles uh -huh. just go away. Oh. Yeah. Well, Marty, he gets up, he'll get his thing, and then he'll put it in the dryer, and then he squirts some of that shit on there and puts it in, make sure it's right. When I do use wrinkle releaser, I try and wear mostly dark T-shirts because you can't tell them. Right. I just put the T-shirt on and squirt the wrinkle releaser right as I'm wearing it. Total hill. Huh. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what I use. Do you use that, Blue? I, th I like it. It's worth every dime. But I know people that like are just anal about, you know, their laundry and this. Oh, yeah. Tom, my sister is so OCD when it comes to that. Oh, Her right. house, I mean, you know, there is one one little spill. I mean, it's got everything's got to be wiped up right away. Uh, I, and I'm the complete opposite of her. I drive her crazy because I'm messy. I mean, I'm not dirty, but I'm messy. You know, yeah. I'll throw my coat on the chair when I get home. You know, stuff like that. That you cannot do that at my sister's house. Can you see yeah. part of my? Can you see part of my collection, Tom? Yeah, looks good. And then and there's where I'm standing here. This is all all the way from the there's five shelves here, all the way down. Wow. And then it turns into here. Wow. What are they? Movies? Yeah, yeah they're all my movies, my Blu-ray movies, yep. all my 4K movies. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah that so helps too. If they hang if if you hang stuff long enough, the wrinkles will pretty much come out. So everything is very organized and neat. Yeah, it's good. Now, Stephanie, if you were over at your sister's, let's say on Thanksgiving, uh huh, and you like dumped a gallon and a half of gravy on the carpet, would you just start running? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I know people like that. Yeah, uh, when the when the you know every week the kids come over, go over. We all go over her there because she has a big yard, oh and God. she's just behind all the kids all the time. Got it. Yeah, I know people like that. And she's it, it's gotten worse with her age, Tom. Born. And Born. and with my age, I've gotten messier. <laughs> well, it's just like hey, hey. says, you know, you clean up the best when you either go to sell your house. Or you got company coming. Exactly. Yep. No, that's because, it. yep, that's why I love living alone. Because you know what? If I want to sit in a messy living room, I can. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's your business. 
It's my business. You bet. Now, does everything at your sister's house look brand new? Yes. Yeah, got it. Yeah. What a what a miserable oh, yeah. visit. Yep. I bet she'd like freak out if you like burn something on the stove and smoke got in there. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, she's uh, she's wound tight. Let me tell you. Well. Yeah. Yeah, she was smart enough to get hooked up with a passive husband. Oh, exactly. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's why. That's why it works. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but, I know people that declaw those cats. They say if the cat's inside all the time, I don't see a problem with it. I mean, they'll ruin your furniture. You know, oh. Yeah, cats will. They'll scratch your thing. I'm not a big cat guy, so. But I, no. I, I mean, I've been to people's houses. You know, I, I, see, I know what a cat can do. They're, they're like, yeah. I, know what I, want. I mean, a dog can too. But but a cat man, they're they they're their own world of damage, you know. Yeah, I've never been. No, I never been a cat. I'm you know when my dog died, um, everyone said you should get a cat. Uh, what the hell am I gonna do with a cat? I always thought that'd be a great name for cologne or perfume. What cat piss? Oh yeah, well, because you yeah. know that <laughs> like lasts forever. Oh, I know. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to clean no litter box and shit. She says no. She says clawing is illegal. I'm not in Michigan. It's not. I, I don't know one person out there whose cat isn't declawed, including Anthony's family. I don't think it's illegal. Uh uh. Yeah. We'll have to. We'll have to Google it. <laughs> hey, Google. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. You can get that done down here too. Yeah, it's illegal if they're an outside cat, but not an inside. Yeah, that'd be a good name, wouldn't it, Blue? If if I told you I'm coming out with a new perfume named Cat Piss, you first of all, you'd not you wouldn't forget the name of it. And secondly, that'd be my slogan. It lasts as long as cat piss. And everybody would know exactly what I was talking about. You know, you get cologne perfume, it like goes away. They say that's only for like it's like body odor. You don't smell it, but other people do. That's why you think your cologne or your perfume is like died out, but it, you got used to it. You know, what do you think of that? Well, do you believe that? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, it's, 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 it, <sighs> I, I, I know in the old days, supposedly you couldn't, there was nothing that could get rid of cat. Piss smell. I have not. No. Nope. I think I think they have stuff that can get rid of it. Not tech, not usually. No, it's pretty bad. What? No, really? To clean it out of apartments and stuff like that. Any carpet shampoo. Once it's in that carpet, it's gone. It's dead. Oh, really? Cat really? piss is the worst ever. What about dog? We had a lady. We had a lady that was. Dogs wash up. This was this was no lie. We had a lady. That was living in one. We 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 still live in. We, we live in the apartment, still part of the extended stay. But one of the rooms, they had this lady that was living in there. She has three cats in that room, and she was in there. I don't know how many years she lived there. The smell was so bad; it was pouring out of the door and through the air conditioner vent. It was so bad. It was. It was even. Oh getting, man! It was getting in the breezeways. It was getting. It was getting in the office. The smell was so bad. And listen, wow! And, and this, and here's the other thing about the whole. It's what's crazy. This woman, this girl, she has three cats. Just hear me out. Three cats. And can you imagine the the piss, the smell, how bad it was? And she was. And, and, and listen, this is another thing. And, and she'd go in the office and pay her rent. You could smell the. You could smell it co coming off of her body. It was so bad, literally off of her body. She smelled like piss, cat piss, or like cats. And, 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 and she she was a manager at Wendy's. I don't doubt that. And then and then then they finally then they finally kicked her out. They finally had it. They said they kicked her out finally. And then when I and then and they, then when I and at that time I when they they told me to, they told me to clean the room out. 
and I did, and I'll never forget what I saw when I looked on the wall, the whole entire wall, all the way down with nothing but roaches everywhere. The oh, wow. carpet, everything in that whole entire room had to go to the dump. It was so bad. I don't know how I even made it through there. The, the, the smell was so bad. Cat um, just, was just poor. I think I've got like extra you know, like sensitive like that, olfactory. You know, like I think like that have no business good. having animals. If they can't, you know, people can't take care of them, they don't need to have them. And I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but if they're pissing in the house, I don't care if they oh take care God. of them. Or not. Cat piss is cat piss. Right. I think it just smells like real. I mean, even if it's in a garage or something, it's like, God, man. You can't get rid of it. It's on your body. When you leave, when you when you go anywhere, she, every time she'd go anywhere, you could smell it on her. Then she spray perfume on and just like, oh God, two bad scents at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. hey, but you guys don't think cats should be declawed inside a house where they never go out? They maybe maybe the front ones, but they'll leave the back ones. Yeah, the front there. ones, yeah. What yeah, the fuck do they need the back ones for? They don't allow cats anymore. They don't allow what if they have a, an itch? Yeah, I, I mean, what if they How do? How are they going to scratch themselves? Well, all as I'm saying, who gives a fuck if they're wrecking your furniture? <laughs> you keep it up and I'll pull their fucking teeth, too. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, if you wouldn't, if you, if you were just going buy brand new furniture, you wouldn't want a cat in there tearing up your furniture, would you? No. Well, according <laughs> to these guys, you they would. You know. Or that, uh, some people, there's things that they can, I guess they can put on it. But anybody I know that, like, has indoor cats, take their front claws out. Yeah, most people, yeah, you're right, they do. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't think, they don't, what do they... I don't know why do they need claws inside. I mean, an indoor claw can. I mean, maybe there's something I don't know about them. You know, yeah, they have claws for a reason outside, not inside. They're not catching prey. They're not defending themselves. Yeah, they have a reason. The reason is ruining your furniture. <laughs> yeah, it's just I don't want them to do. I don't. I don't. Maybe there's some other way around it. I mean, can you like? Uh, File them down or something? Fuck, I don't know. It's not a problem because I'm not going to own a cat. Yeah, I know. Me either. So, uh, who the hell cares? <laughs> this shit. So why are we about this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I all I know, all I know yeah. is don't take my nails because then I won't be able to itch myself. <laughs> I never thought about an itch. Never thought about it. Yeah, but if you if you look at me, if you presented it to me, it's like, look, we got two choices here. Uh, it has an itch or ruining all your furniture. That's enough. right. Right. Yeah. Oh, I can understand that. But like you said, we'll never own a cat, so I don't have to yeah. worry about it. Who cares? Yeah, we, we won't. You know, we won't. <laughs> oh, it goes outside. Oh, okay. Well, the litter box, I think that's one cool thing about cats, you know? Yeah, they do go in the litter box. I know. Well, look at Lucid. Now, there's an idea. This is thinking out of the box. Lucid has a cat. Claws her yeah. couch, but it doesn't shred. See, and her sister's cat ruined the couches. I guess every cat is different. I think, uh, every couch yeah. is, I think every couch is different. How could your cat claw your couch and it doesn't do anything to it? Right. You know, she's probably got like metal fucking chairs welded. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, I just, we just let our cat, you know, it never hurts the furniture. It's all this eighth gauge goddamn heavy duty iron because they ruined all the cloth ones over the years. Yeah, iron couch. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I do think I, there's an argument for uh, for cruel if they're outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're protecting themselves and all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah, and also cats, uh, you know, uh, cats are responsible for one in ten uh, birds losing their life. Feral cats. Yeah, it's a big problem. 
Well, they can really catch the birds, huh? No, that's true. That's true, Blue. That's true. Yeah, litter boxes. Yeah, there's a problem with that. Yeah, with cats, that's true. Yep. Pregnant women. Yeah, yep. Yeah, toxoplamosis. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Huh. Crazy. So remember this, guys. If you get a girl pregnant, let's get some cats. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody who has cats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's one thing. You, know, you got to give credit where credit is. They spend a lot of, on a limited budget. They spend a lot of money on cat food. Uh, yes. I noticed that. You know, I she think does a good thing feeding all those cats. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's very oh, kind yeah. of her. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it is too. Yeah. I do too, Tom. Have you ever noticed the difference between cat cat and people that like cats versus people that like dogs? I don't, you know, the way the way their attitude is and the way they are, it's like. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? You ever notice that? But, you know, when when, when you when somebody's dog, you know, and you walk up to them, they're real high, real nice and greedy, and everything. You pet them, but people with cats are like a total different. I don't know. They're more standoffish, like they're animals. Yeah, they're more standoffish. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Now, now, I'm probably not going to get a straight answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. I think cats. Are so for all you anti declawing cat people, <laughs> do you allow the cat? Don't lie. Do you allow the cat to walk across the dining room table? Not on a place where I need hell. No, I would not. Well, you don't have a cat. But I'm asking these people that, you know, just think it's the most oh. cruel thing in the world to like take a cat's claws out. No, it's not. Do you let a cat, do you have a problem with a cat walking across the t dining room table? Yeah, I mean, do, do you think it's mean? Do you think it's, you think it's mean that, that they cut dogs' nuts off? I don't no. see dogs and cats. Okay, you don't you see anything wrong with that? No. Oh, okay. No, they live longer. Well, I don't know if they live longer or not. According to the vets, they can't get testicular cancer for the boys. Yeah, but that's pretty rare anyway. Yeah, they can't get, but it seems to be pretty good. Was your dog spayed? <laughs> Mine? Yeah. Yeah, but it was oh. like that when I got it. Oh, okay. And the girls won't get mammary cancer or um, you know, any of those kinds of cancers. Yeah, the ovarian cancer. So it's good to do. It's something just... The girl, the, the the women won't get a varying cancer because of what reason? Well, I had my dog, all my dogs, except for the last one we inherited, which is really old, fixed, and it made the most sense because they did live a long time, and I guess they don't do tend to live longer. They've done studies on that that dogs that dogs and cats that have been spayed and neutered do live longer than those that haven't been. So these guys thinking, oh, my dog needs his balls. Well, excuse me, for what? Yeah. You know, seriously, <laughs> for what reason? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't get Well, it. how about because he was born with them? Yeah, no kidding, hey? Eh? Well, I mean, shit. I mean, I don't know that it's like humans. You know, they make these choices of, you know, what parts should stay on animals. Oh, yeah. It's kind of getting out there. And how much longer do they live? You know, a week, a year, a decade? Uh, do some research on you know, that. you end up spending less money in your life because they live longer and you have less dogs. <laughs> Help me with this, Stephanie. Well, my dog, he wasn't neutered. And um, he lived 15 years. So he had a good life. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I still miss him. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. And there's my three every day, you know. Yeah, I know. It's like, uh, you know, it's like your child. I yeah. mean, you know, he was by my, you know, by my side at the window when I came home from work. Um, you know, it, it's like uh, your little kid, you know. Yeah. And when you lose that, it's very hard. Yeah. yeah. Sure is. Yep. I was I was vacuuming dog hair all the time, but you but I didn't care. I you know, he slept in my bed with me. Um no, yeah. I, you know, I, 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 
were minded too, they didn't shed. And towards the end, Sasha needed to wear a little tiny diaper. She was a little you get a eight pound multi. I think she was like five pounds when she was get close to death. But yeah, she had the tiniest bad. little bitty diaper that she wore at night. She was fine with that for uh, the last several months of her life. But you know, that's you do what you got to do. I never had to worry about them shedding though, because I've got allergies. They were all like hypoallergenic Maltese. My teddy bear is half Shih Tzu, half Bashan, and we have Pomeranian. Ah. These shed once in a while, you know, but yeah, the other two didn't at all. But they all slept by me, they were all by me all the time. It's, yeah, I know it. They're my kids. One of them was way over the top to watch me cook because he wanted to see if he could get something if I was making something good, you know. Oh, I know. And, you know, the thing is, you can't, you know, a cat can't, a cat is not like a dog. Right. Right. I mean. Right. Been I don't have anything against them. The history, the history of cats, they have not been domestic animals that long. They're no, they're 10,000 years behind dogs. Right. They're not even meant to be domesticated. So it's like kind of funny why a lot of people have cats that really run around the yard all night long just like and stuff. But, yeah. Know, a whole different kind of animals, you know. Yeah. You're yeah. Right about that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Well, to each his own. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The older I get, the, the less I want pets. I don't want any like responsibilities. How are you able to do that? Uh, I want dogs always, but I don't have any until I have a house. I'm going to wait till I have a yard. Uh, yeah. I don't want the responsibility. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibility uh, to have a dog. Sure is. Is yeah. Daisy uh, a big one? It's worth it. So are boyfriends. Is Daisy a responsibility, you think? Or is she pretty good? Yeah. yeah. Well, not as bad as Daisy <clears throat> because Marty, she spends a lot of time with Marty. Uh, yeah, I didn't want Daisy to begin with. It's just I knew the circumstances and I took her. But I was already petted out by that time. No regrets taking her? Fuck yeah, there's regrets. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? She loves yeah, you. but I mean, I don't regret it because she didn't. I don't know where she went. And I kind of got to know her and I knew the circumstances. But I mean, does she cuddle up on you when you went give me, you know, she loves she you? She sleeps with Marty in like 90% of the time. Oh. But he like gets her up and she gets him up two or three times a night. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. She will not do that with me. <clears throat> he's like really like, you know, he's never he's he's never like gets mad, and, like yells, can't find something or something. So, you know, it's she's going to it's a lot less stressful for Daisy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I remember doing that with Bo. I mean, yeah. Yeah. You just do it, you know. Yeah. And I'm glad, you know, I'm glad I didn't get another dog because now I'm in the position. Yeah, it would be hard for me, the responsibility of a dog, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't get up in the middle of the night and walk my dog around here. You know what I mean, Tom? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I'm I'm glad I didn't take that responsibility again. Yeah, or worrying about if you were going to outlive the dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you I think know. And then if you if you want to go on vacation somewhere, then you got to find out if someone could watch it for you. Or you gotta, I know. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Now parrots can now. Be, I mean, parrots can live a hundred years. A beautiful parrot can live a hundred years. Not in captivity, they don't. Tortoises too. Yeah. People have parrots in their house. I mean, my friend used to have a real big one. Yeah, I mean, they're huge. Oh wow. Yeah, Daisy's had a good life, that's for sure. Yep. She loves you, Tom. Don't forget that. Yeah. Every minute of her life is based on you. Yep. You rescued her. Eh, sort of. I mean, I mean, she did like have a few owners before me. Yeah. I don't know if I rescued her. She just had bad luck early on in her life, I think. Did your parents yeah. people got her from a uh Pound young, and then they had her a little while, not long, a couple months. Did your and parents, baby, and they said, have dogs? Did your dog parents have animals? Yeah, dogs? yep. They said that she was jealous of the baby, so they wanted to get rid of her. And then my neighbor got her, and then I got her for my neighbor. 
Mm. Yeah. So how long have you had her now? Total. Eleven years. Oh my gosh. I know. Eleven years. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah, I know it. I wonder do you, I wonder how old Daisy is then. Well, she was only about six months old when my neighbor got her. Wow. Okay. She was about, you know, 12, 11 ish, 12, something like that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, she's been on a million road trips. Yeah, big time. And then you oh. you've been to the vet, have you gotten her shots and everything? Oh yeah, I get all that stuff, yeah. Well, then you obviously care for her, right? You do love her. Well, right? you gotta, I mean, I do, but you gotta kind of do that if you take on a pet, you know. Wow. It's expensive to own pets now, too. It never oh, used to that's, a, yeah, that's another thing, Tom, I worried about. I mean, if I ever had to take a dog to the veterinarian, I can't oh, afford yeah. to pay that. Yeah, um, oh, it's expensive, yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Dollar Tree's raising their prices now, too. There you go. They're closing a thousand of them down. They closed the one down in my town. Oh, what Dollar Tree? Yeah, they were only here three years. Really? Yeah, they're closing a thousand locations. I heard they're closing. It's the dollar dollar uh, value. Value dollar. That's oh, we don't I have mean. those. Dollar. We value. don't have those. Family dollar. Whatever. So why do they even call it a dollar Dollar Tree then? It, it, well, they they have two names on the one here, Dollar Tree and something else. You know, that's it's like misleading. It. You know, you, that's misleading because people think it's a dollar tree, but not everything in the, in the store is a dollar. No. So that's not. That's kind of misleading. We used to have a place in Milwaukee called Everything's a Buck, and everything was a buck, but they can't do oh, that. Oh yeah, it's expensive, boo. Yeah, it is nuts. That was like thirty years ago. You know. Yeah, we have a Dollar General, but the other one is Dollar Tree, something else, Dollar something else. There's two names on the building. Yeah. yeah. Well, everything's a dollar twenty-five now. Yeah, crazy. That kind of yeah. makes sense when you look at inflation. Oh yeah. I, mean, I don't know if they're really cheap or not when it's all said and done. No. But they're convenient. You know, you're not in a big ass Walmart. Back in right. 19, back in nineteen ninety, you can you can buy a value meal for three bucks at McDonald's in nineteen ninety. Now it's oh yeah. Two. Now it's like twelve bucks now. Yeah. Well, look, yeah, we used to always eat off the dollar menu at McDonald's. No shit. No. Yeah. Remember yeah. the dollar menu? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, now, yeah. Now, 10 for 10 bucks, 10 cheeseburgers for $10 back in the day. And now they're oh. saying, now they're saying with this bridge collapse, that, that could put in, that could have effect on our economy now because, you know what I mean? Two now. How? Well, the fucking thing was hauling toxic waste. But they, 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 that's one of their main things they deliver product, products out of. Not just that. All of a lot of our stuff comes out of Yeah, it. but there's a million ways to get there. It's, it wasn't like it was the only way to get to Baltimore. Yeah. I'd have to look it up. I haven't been out there in a long time, but I'm sure that you know you got to drive yeah, 30 miles down the road now. 30 million people go across that bridge every day. 30,000 people every day. That's not that much. Well, no. You look at traffic like in Chicago and stuff, 30,000 is nothing. It was built in 1977. It was built. The year I graduated high school. Yep. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's too bad. They'll, they'll find a way, though. I, I'd have, I'm gonna, I'll look on a map tonight when I go to bed. I'm not sure, like, what the way around that is now, how, how you get there and stuff. Well, that's now, exactly where, where, where exactly was that bridge, Tom? Baltimore. Maryland. Oh, Baltimore Bridge. Okay. That, that was one of their... Well, one this of their, was the seaport. Most of these places came across the sea. So that was... Yeah. You are saying like Japan and other places. So that's where they all converged. But now they're, saying, they, they, they're saying it could have an imp impact on, on delivery now. Delivering stuff to people. Yeah, but just people. there. Yeah, just in yeah, you're in LA or Miami, who gives a fuck? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. It'll probably have an effect on the people on the East Coast. I'm going to look it up right now and see what it looks like. Yeah. Now, Chris, you're not. Are you in Baltimore? No, I'm in Branson. Branson. I'm sorry, where? Branson. Branson, Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Okay, honey. All righty. Hey, what was the name? What's the name of that bridge? Oh. Branson Scott Key. Yeah, Branson, Branson Scott Key Bridge. Yeah. What's the name of the bridge that the boat ran into? Branson Scott, Scott Key. Oh. That's the name of the bridge? Yeah. I thought you were talking about Branson's. Like, you guys need to listen better. <laughs> <laughs>
Brance and Scott Key? Francis. All right. How do you spell it? F R A N C I S. F R A N P I S? Oh, F R A N C I S. Oh, okay. Francis, what? Scott. Yep. Oh, here it is right here. I'll tell you where it's at. Oh, yeah. So, right here it is. He's the guy that wrote the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Banner. man. Fucking A. This is a major fucking problem. Exactly. He's the guy that wrote the Star I mean, Spangled Banner. They're saying it's going to take a month just to remove the record. From no, this is, this is actually Highway 695 is what the bridge is. Yeah, it's the main. I <laughs> bet whoever like goes over this motherfucker is going to have another three hours coming to and from work. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, that's a major... you got to go way... The only way around it, because the ocean is to the east, so there's no way there. Yep. You've got to go all the way around to cut over 895. It's going to have a major impact on people travel. People have to travel to work. Oh, oh God. Can you imagine the traffic? Oh. And if you oh. look, at this, yeah, look it up. Look it up later tonight. When you look at how far you have to go around to get on that... Uh, oh my god what a nightmare no this is like it you couldn't i can't think of a worse example of a bridge to go down wow now if this 895 bridge would have got hit instead no biggie you could have went down 95 you could have went to this one that did get knocked down but this one is a major problem i bet it'll take i bet there's people that are going to rent apartments so they don't they're need saying, to I mean, they're saying it could take up to 10 years to, to rebuild Wow! Have the port open again in May. Five, five, five to ten that. years. I mean, this is this is not something that's just going to open up tomorrow night or the next month. Right. Away. It's going to take years and years. But they side. said they're going to open the port again in May. I don't know how they do that. Just have the boats go through. Oh yeah, I mean, they can do that once they move the debris. The boats can still get through. Yeah, of course. I wonder if they could get a, a ferry system going on. Well, they're, 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 they're having the, the, the cranes are coming in tonight. They said on the world news tonight that they're going to get the big cranes in tonight, and they're, and they're saying that some of this steel can weigh up to nine nine thousand tons. That's all wow. heavy metal steel mm -hmm. is, and it caused damage to the boat because you got to remember it it caused you know what I mean when it hit fell down it hit the boat too, so it caused significant damage to the boat when it fell. Wow. And they only had 90 seconds, 90 seconds. And they, and they were talking to witnesses that just got off the bridge, right? They drove right over that bridge right before it went down. They had oh, God. Then they were going to go back. And then luckily they didn't. So. Man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's complicated, years long mess, it says. Wow. And Joe Biden says we're gonna we're gonna he they're gonna he's gonna they're gonna pay for the whole entire thing until it gets done. Well, they should. The government needs to. That's a very important thoroughfare. Yeah, infrastructure. That's right. Yeah, but I understand. Well, what what, what about what? Why should the government be because responsible? Because it's a very important when, thoroughfare. Well, well, what about the boat people? Don't they have insurance? The company that boat they should have to pay for so, you know, yeah, they, they will. They will subrogation. Oh well, I'm just saying. I mean, I shouldn't be all put on us. No, what'll happen is yeah, the, the feds. The feds saying. will pay for it, and the feds will sue the boat company for causing it. Do you think it's going to affect our taxes? No, it's only sixty million. Oh, <laughs> that's what it says. Sixty million. And it's going to be all states. It's probably coming out of our Pentagon fund, which is for disasters. Yeah. Well, look probably. at what they blow on these floods. But they're using it to build that wall. <laughs> Excuse me, hurricanes and stuff. 60 million is nothing. Yeah. Yeah, what a pain in the ass though, living out there. That's one of our, it's one of our nine top ports. Yeah, did any of the uh, things on the ship fall off into the ocean? Some of it did, but not the hazardous materials. So yeah, still that. strapped on. So right. That's a good thing. Thank God, because that could have exploded. I bet the price of that was the water out. killed all the fish. <laughs> you watch, you're going to have a real, real problem getting cocaine and meth for the next year. You ever heard of root beer with ginger? Uh, if you go into the store, no, they get they have so many variations of drinks. Like I, I, I should have read the label better. I bought a eight pack of this Liquid Death. The Liquid Death? Yeah, it's, it's spring water from someplace. Yeah. I, I thought that all these waters 
with carbonated, and this one's not. It sucks. You gonna make? Oh. Sure, if you yeah. want that. Yeah, I do want that. Don't yeah, you're right about that, Chris. Yeah. yeah, dirty. Okay, I'll make the whole big bag. That's what I'm gonna make. Wow. Yeah. I, I like those uh, crabs they catch here. I'll make a two pound bag. There you go, Tom. Baltimore. Oh yeah, those are good Walmart. Those are uh, cooked or uncooked? Cooked. We got oh, cooked. Right. Those are the uncooked. Uncooked. How long do you guys cook them for? About five minutes. Once Way too cooked, long. Pour them in. One, no, I wait till the water boils. I pour them in, then I take them out. And say, you pull, pour them in frozen. Put them in. Uh, we yeah, put them in. Uh, dill, 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 and caraway. Dill and okay. Salt. Salt. No, that's yeah. a way to do it. See, they I saw them in first. They are good that way. And you know something? Those have gone down in price. They're only thirteen dollars for a big two-pound bag of the larger colossal shrimp. That is cheap. You can get. No, lobster no shrimp tails. are cheaper than hot dogs now. At yeah. Walmart, yeah, no kidding. No, you can I know. Pick up, uh, lobster tails now too for like seventeen dollars. I think at Walmart too. That's Crazy. cheap. That's actually yeah. pretty cheap. The crab legs, I think, are down to like what were they down to? Like fourteen dollars a box, yeah, so. or two pounds of crab. That used to be twenty-five bucks a box. You look at the crab legs now; they're bullshit, though, compared to years ago. Oh, I know. I mean, they look like they look like bait. My dad used to get a fifty cents for the whole big dunk of those crabs. When I was a kid, oh, they were so good. You see now, red red lobsters in trouble too. Yeah, now they're probably like twenty bucks a pop. Yeah. Why are they? Red lobster sucks anyway. It's like the worst place in the world, but it was affordable, crappy seafood. I love seafood. So yeah, I do too. So I'll tell you, it's got some good smell. It's healthy and it's less expensive than buying bacon, which can kill you. So, hey. Yeah, that's, yeah you're right about that. Yeah. Do you like tilapia? Do you like tilapia? No, no. I don't no. eat sway either. Oh, okay. There's another first cousin of. Uh, Hey, Missing Lily. There's another first cousin of uh, tilapia. Panganese or some shit that they're trying to pawn off now. Don't eat that either. South Vietnamese uh, crappy catfish. It's Ill illegal to advertise those fish as catfish in Georgia. Well, the one thing we don't see at all anymore is orange roughy, and that used to be real popular. That was so delicious. That's gone. You know. Anybody no. got, any, got any Easter plans, anyone? No. Oh yeah, Easter egg hunt for the kids. You're right, Blue. Yeah. How old are your kids again? Uh, they uh, they range from twelve all the way down to two. Oh wow! Yeah. There's seven of them. You got seven kids? No, grandkids. Oh, grandkids. That's the way to oh, do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Grandkids. Mm. Yeah, good for you. Mm. Oh, making your first communion? Oh, no. really, Miss Wildly? Well, congratulations. <laughs> How are we going to celebrate my 50th birthday this year? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. You Steph, you got any ideas? Yeah. How would you celebrate my 65th? Uh? Um, well... We can uh, we can bring him up to the stage and let him have all the attention. Oh. <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Chris, would you like that? That'd be a nice gift. Thomas, I want it every time. When Debbie first, when Debbie, when Debbie first brought me to Branson in two thousand five, every show we went to, I, I was I was up on stage just about every show. Volunteer. Tom, you know what? You can let uh, you can let Chris control the show. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. When is it, yeah. birthday, Chris? What? When? September fourth. Like that's that's a way up. So. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll just I'll just I'll just sign out, and you can do it like like it was your chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. He can run the show and. Yeah. Talk about what he wants to talk about, and what's the latest movie? What's the latest Blu-ray? What's the latest yeah. Blu-ray? No, yeah. Wrong with that. yeah, good for you. What's the when, when, when you start? 
when you start a YouTube channel, can you go on live right away or do you have to wait? Uh, uh, I think you can if you got like StreamYard, but I don't think you can if you're using YouTube. I think they want, at least they did. People tell me this, a thousand subscribers and like 4,000 hours view time, some bullshit. I don't know what it is. Okay. I'm not sure. But how does this Georgia. work though? What's that? How does it how does it work with YouTube though? Because you have to drop a link in the. You know, uh, well, they're they're in cahoots somehow. I don't really understand that. To tell you the truth. I don't know how it works either. Oh, and good for you, Missing Logan. That's nice of you to do. Uh, yeah, YouTube. You can like they're they're in cahoots. I don't. You would think that YouTube wouldn't want to do that, but they probably worked out some deal where it's good for both of them. But it's kind of, I like it better, like where you can like see people, although it's a lot more convenient to just be on your phone and text, but it's not quite as fun, I don't think, you know? No, I know. Yeah. Because yeah. it's hard to, you know, if you want to say a lot of stuff, it's hard to text all the shit, yeah, you know? Yeah. No, exactly right. And you, and you can like, you don't get the full gist of what, you know, a joke or. Right. Like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can take it, you know, you don't, you get offended and they didn't mean anything negative. You yeah. Know? You can take, you can take the words wrong in the chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but if you're talking to the person, it sounds completely different. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. That's all right. Oh, yeah. It takes yeah. Context. It's true. They say that's a lot of like you misinterpreted, you know, people. Yeah, that's it, Tom. Misinterpret the text. You bet. Yeah, and a laugh out loud isn't the same as like really laughing. And no, it's not, is it? <laughs> no, no, I don't think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. My friend, well, I, had, I, I, my friend had a picture with Ron Jeremy. He lives in Las Vegas. He's in he's in a mental institution now. <laughs> No, Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy is in a mental institution. Who's Ron Jeremy? Porno star. Oh, porno star? Yeah. Look him up and tell me whether you think he looks like uh, Ron Jeremy or not. Seriously. Oh, is that the... Oh, that's the guy Chris looks like? Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't know it was a porn... <laughs> have, you, have you ever looked him up? <laughs> no. Can you, can, you, oh, can, you type, can you type in Ron Jeremy, Stephanie? Can you see yeah. Me? Can you see type me? Oh, oh so, I will. Michelle, you can see me, right? Can you do it now? I'm doing it now. Okay, just give an honest opinion. Okay. Ron Jeremy. Yeah. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Thanks. For yeah. That. Yeah. My friend. You got it, Steph? I'm sorry. It's taking me so long, Tom. That's right. Okay. That's why I talk in my phone. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Ron, here. Okay. And then push enter. Ju judge rules that adult star Ron Jeremy yep. can push, be released. Push on images. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, Chris does look like him. No. <laughs> my, my, but my, you know what? I just told my friend, I, I said, I said my, my friends tell me I look like Ron Jeremy. And he says, you're better looking that, than that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's a good supportive friend. Yeah, I was, Chris. Chris, I was just going to say, you do look like him. You know, you have features like him, but no, you are, you are better looking than him. He looks, he looks like he's fat. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's one feature. It doesn't look like him though. <laughs> oh God. Hopefully you'll never find that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, oh God. Yeah, Debbie knows but Chris's history. Hopefully. Come on out, Michelle. I want to see you. Come on out. Oh, yeah, she's right. That's true. Yeah, Come he on he on. got they all the all the porno girls started. Uh, Michelle, you got all your makeup on. You look pretty. <laughs> Who's he talking to? Who? You. Chris. Oh, what? What, Chris? 
just like, come on up. You got all your makeup on. You look pretty. Me? Yeah. She's already. Oh, God, no. Oh, you don't like that? No. Oh, God, no. Yeah, I know. I understand. I suppose one day I could, you know, finally fix my hair. <laughs> and put on and put my teeth in my mouth. <laughs> How many times wearing his jail hat tonight? What? Pretty good idea putting like I know. Yeah, yeah, I can. They say escape. When you wear your when you wear your your orange hat, you need to get the orange shirt too to go with it. I guess, yeah, it's a good idea. I do that sometimes. <laughs> oh God! Then you look like a construction worker. <laughs> you do that when you go on interviews. When you interview people, we're wearing the shirt and the hat. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, let's see what they say. Yeah, and you can, and when you do the interview, you can say, say when they ask you questions, and you can say to them, "I just got out of I just got out of prison." No oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Oh God! Ask that question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No well, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go to bed, you guys. Have yeah, it's bed. getting late for you guys. Not for you, Steph. Not for me. Nope. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch a movie or something. It's eleven. Oh, we don't go to bed early. It's eleven oh three my time, so he's an hour ahead of me. Well, good having you guys on. Thanks. Yeah, Tom, it's been fun. Good night, everybody. Good night to the chat. Yeah, we, missed you, we missed you, Tom. We love oh, you. Thank bye. you. See you, Chris. Bye. Okay, bye, guys. Bye, Conan. Conan, I think she took off already. Uh, Frisky, I got you. Lucid, you have a good night tonight. Dave, you're still out there. Uh, good luck down there, Miss Loyalty. Drifter, you have a good night. You guys party on. Hope you have a good day tomorrow. Okay, Blue. <laughs> yeah, I know. Always do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dave. Take care. I see you guys.